Hello everyone, welcome at Horse Reality's first live stream. Before we get started, I would like to have confirmation from every one of you that you can at least hear me correctly, because we had a few issues with the sound before. And of course it takes a little bit before you see me in the first place. <laughs> So let's see if everything is working. I hope someone can at least tell me I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> awesome. Great. <laughs> this is so funny for me because this is the first time I've ever done something like this. So, um, I mean, we have done a few small Q and A's, but not like this. <laughs> and this is a four hour live stream. So I'm very excited to get started. Um, yeah, so before we start with everything, um, this live stream will be done in English and not in Dutch. Um, while I am Dutch myself, I thought it would be easier um, since the biggest part of our community is um, German, Australian, American, we're from everywhere. So I felt like English would be the best way to go. And we will translate um, our stream afterwards. So hopefully we can add subtitles in Dutch. Um, but I really hope that most of you at least can follow what I'm saying. And um, yeah, let's just get started, I think. I hope that Judalyn can join me in Discord and then I will share her stream. And she will start with me. Um, I will be talking a little bit about the history of horse reality. So, um, but then Julian will join me in the background and start with some sketches. So let's see how this all goes. <laughs> it takes a little bit before every one of you will see it, of course, because I think YouTube lags a little bit behind. I think it's 30 seconds ish. So let's see how it goes. I hope children can hear me as well. Um, though I cannot hear Julian at the moment, not yet at least, but I think, let me quickly see for my sound. I'm so bad with this guys. I'm sorry <laughs> with Discord. I'm not too used to it and we've tried it quite a few times, but always whenever you need it, the sound is gone. Um, so let me see where I can fix it in Discord because it's a little bit strange talking to myself while the rest cannot hear me. Uh, or while well, you can only hear me. Let me see. Voice, input, output is correct. Oh, I don't remember what happened last time. I had this last time as well. I'm not sure what I did to fix it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe I should just throw the technical difficulties right from the start. <laughs> and I know that everyone is so excited to see Jewel in here. Um, how can I do this, guys? <laughs> Jewel in, I can't hear you. Let me see. I will at least watch her stream. And then we can switch. <laughs> nice. Where's the rest of Discord? Go this way. And then her stream will be there. Also, I just love talking to myself. So sometimes it might be a bit awkward. I'm sorry for that. I'm good at talking to myself. <laughs> so at least now I don't hear Julian. I can just talk by myself for now. Um, so let us see. This is her screen. Oh, this is not her screen. This is my screen. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Everything here. Always, you try it 10 times and then 
the moment you have to go live, it goes wrong. But I guess that goes with the first time you're doing this. It seems that my screen wants to show the wrong one. I just have to set up the right one and then we can start. Um, video capture device, add source, new source. <laughs> Should I just make some music myself maybe? I can't sing really well, but I can try. <laughs> This is always the most awkward. Oh, here, window capture, not video capture, because that's what I'm already doing. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who did this for the first time, Danny. <laughs> I hope I said it right. I hope it's Danny. Danny, Danny. Let me see. Nope, this is the window. I need my screen. Is it video capture audio window browser image media display capture finally that's the one and new source the right screen in capitals I'm currently using Streamlabs OBS which is a version that one of my moderators uh, showed me and I feel like it's a little bit lighter than, how do you say that, um, the regular OBS. Oh, we're almost there. I'm sorry, it'll be fine. At least it's nice for everyone, <laughs> for everyone who was a little bit late <laughs> that you can see. Uh, we know 10 minutes later. Let's see, center on the screen, resize it a little bit. Yes, there we go. <laughs> One of the reasons why I wanted to do this, or why I kind of omitted doing this, because I felt like it's hard. <laughs> and let me see, I will put this one, then this one will go away. Almost done. And then I'll put her in a frame and then we can switch I think whoops there's my webcam again let's update it okay I think we're there <laughs> cool well it took me a little bit but we've got there um, I mean, <laughs> oh, I see that people are even trying to help me out there with OBS. Yeah, like OBS um, Streamlabs is pretty much the same, but the screen is a little bit nicer. I feel like it's better. Um, the design is very nice. So I'm glad with this. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just love if things are, yeah, in a good way. And a good design. Um, let's see if I have to write it. Julian, can you say something? Because I think I might have found the right settings right now. Or not, because I'm still not hearing you. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. I can't hear. Output audio. Let me see. Audio advice. I show you audio capture, my own microphone. Yeah, it's really weird because all the settings are set to the right settings. And I already tried this yesterday. Well, I will just let's let's just get started and then I will figure out how to get to talk to Julian in a little bit afterwards because I wanted to start with the history anyway. Um, so when we go all the way back to the beginning of Horse Reality, I think this was by 2011. Um, this was pretty much the time that I was together with Tamara and we, we came up with some um, ideas on a game. I think I should 
recap a little bit further even. Tamara and I met on a Dutch horse game. Um, I think it's not really that known. Yeah, maybe among the Dutchies because it's Dutch, of course. But um, so oh, I'm also reading along. But yeah, we are talking through a Discord call. But currently, the moment I was calling in Discord, it was suddenly um, like my sound. It's just not there. I remember that I did this. Something like this happened the last time. But of course, I haven't. I don't remember how I got it back. Um... Is it maybe this one? Oh, I think the settings might be. That's weird. Input is my microphone, right? Suddenly it's set to the other way around. Let's see. Can I hear myself? I can hear me. But I'm not sure if anyone else would hear me twice now. Hmm. Let me see. No, I, I think I'm just quickly going to switch to our technical difficulties thing first and then get everything working because now I get sound from all the, or not sound, I hear you all from all the, from everywhere in chat, in Discord. Um, so I feel like it's, it's confusing me a little bit. I'm going to figure out the sound first to hear her and then get back. Um, I think that might be the best way to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the first time.
anyone hear me? I think so. But it takes a bit for YouTube to catch on. And then Julian, if you talk again, because I think we finally have some sound right now. I see green bars when I talk and I see green bars when you talk. Woo! Yay! Finally! So we can get going. Only 30 minutes later. 35 minutes later. I'm so sorry for everybody. Um, can you start your stream again? So I can open it up for everybody. They don't have to watch our other stream thing again. Let's see. Put this on the screen and then I'll put yours. Yeah, I'm very happy that they... Oh, Lord. And now my Discord is hanging. This is crazy. Like, I've tested this for like six times over the past few weeks and now the moment you have to go live, everything is breaking down. Um, and someone asked if I had... Oh yeah, sorry, the music is also still on. Put that one down. <laughs> oh, but now I want to show your Discord stream and my Discord is entirely freezing right now. Yeah, literally. Oh, come on, laptop, you can do this. And it is so strange because my laptop is only, I think, two years old now. But I had the newest MacBook Pro with, like, all the extra settings with, like, 16 gigabytes and all that stuff. Um, and also, people are talking to me in Discord. But, yeah, it's freezing, so I probably have to restart Discord again. <laughs> so the sound was working, but Discord was failing. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, someone else says that Julian is is um. Oh God. <laughs> Can you not doodle in here? This was a great sentence. And I know that people cannot see us yet because I only wanted to switch when everything was working again. Um, let me see, because I hear I am talking to myself again. Um, but I see the green bars though. Oh, wait. Yeah, I know why. Okay. If he's, if I switch, then it should be working. I will transition to my screen right now. And if anyone could confirm, then they should be starting to hear Julian right now. Um, can someone in my Discord confirm if you can hear Julian, if she talks? So Julian might need to be... <laughs> Oh yeah, it's it's ob it's obviously slower because YouTube is always lagging a little bit. I hear her voice faint in the background. Yeah, that that's what I had earlier too. That it was very faded somehow. <laughs> Let's see, I will open up your stream. Okay. I think we can start. Um, I'm just wondering if people can properly hear you. Because it seems like... At least some of the Discord say, Aura says, oh, they can't hear her even. Okay. 
Oh, MacBook and OBS, guys. It's not fun. <laughs> Let's see, if I switch to this one, I switch to I show you audio capture, what now? Can we hear Julalyn now? <laughs> She's here to haunt us. Yes, yeah, so they all say they hear you very fainted. <laughs> this is so weird well maybe we have to do it without your sound <laughs> for now otherwise it's gonna take so long before we can fix everything and then some say they can hear something but then very fainted and that that is what i had earlier too so maybe some other things let's see we have i show you audio capture let's see if i put everything like this maybe this is better and more like she's yeah they feel like you're on the phone <laughs> yeah for me it's also like cracking a little bit let me see i have this one i can set to zero i have changed a lot of settings right now so i hope the sound is now getting better oh now i turned it up i can yeah i hope this is better because i don't have anything else i can still change so far Everything for me is shown up as it being turned up. But um, let me see. Yeah, many people say it's faint. Um, but luckily for me, like my boyfriend is on his way home and last time he fixed well. And the weird thing is that I am fairly okay with technical stuff, but for some reason, the last time this was happening, it also took us quite a while before we got it fixed. And I actually had fixed, so I'm not really sure um, why it suddenly is not working anymore. But I feel like I can just start, otherwise it's going to take another hour before we can fix it. So I think maybe Jill and you can um, draw your sketches on the background. Then I will explain a little bit about the history of Horse Reality and um, then we can do some drawing together with everyone that's watching. Um, then I will just kind of explain what you are doing. <laughs> or if you're saying anything, Julian, then I will just tell the community. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I will become your translator. So I just have to be reminded by everyone to sometimes um, repeat maybe what you say. Um, so for everyone, I'm really sorry that it's going, that it's like this way. Um, but unfortunately, I cannot seem to fix it right now. And um, my boyfriend fixed this last time, but he is currently still working. He's on his way home or he was working. He's on his way home and then he will help me um, when he gets back. But it still might be for another hour. And I feel like we don't really want to wait that long. So um, for now, we're just doing it like this. And I think that might work as well um we, we just need to do another live stream another time <laughs> to make sure <laughs> that this will be uh you know next time it'll be better hopefully we will do more testing i think we already tested with like six seven times and every time it was fine but um always you know you know this is the way it goes so um in the meantime, I will tell something first about Horse Reality. I started it a little bit, but yeah, was not really able to finish it properly due to the sound. Um, anyways, for anyone, if I am not clear enough or I don't know the English word for it, because that might happen sometimes, just, you know, send a text message to me in the chat and then I will, uh, in the YouTube chat, and then I will see it because that's the one I see on my screen. 
Um, I'm not really looking too much at Discord right now because otherwise my laptop might freeze again. <laughs> so I just keep looking at the OBS Streamlabs screen for now and make sure that um, I can see and hear anything that anyone's saying. Um, okay, cool. So let's get started. Finally, almost one hour later. <laughs> I feel like this is the Spongebob, like one hour later, <laughs> but yeah, so for the history of virtual reality, it has um, been a long time. This is 2020 right now, and I think in 2011 I started with Tamara. Um, I met her on the Dutch horse game, so we were both looking at horse games, I think when we were about 15 or 16 maybe, and um it just, most of the games, and I think a lot of the adult horse gamers might know this feeling, is that just at some point, you know, you see all those games and all of them have unicorns and like rainbows in the background and pegasi. And I was always feeling so, I don't know, it's too childish. There was nothing really for, well, I was 16. I was not really an adult yet, but you feel that way at that age. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so we were just talking on the other games that we found and, you know, kind of talking about how we felt like everything was childish. So wouldn't it be fun if we could do this and if we could really start our own breeding farm and with real horses? And I think the game at the time didn't even have pictures. They only had line arts. So that's kind of... They had one line art for all the breeds in the game. And we felt like, well, that can be done better. So we, so we initially started with line arts from someone um, who helped out before Julian um, joined us. <laughs> but she, um, I think that's where we first started. She made a lot of different line arts, and that was still in the my deviant art phase, where I was also still making manipulations and working on um, making my own horse art. But when I was looking for a domain name, so we wanted. To, so, you know, I wanted to make a website for it and then everything with the word horse and gay was already taken. And then at some point we found horse reality. So then we felt like, okay, we can't stick with all those line arts because that's not really realistic. And also if you can upload your own art, it usually doesn't really match with the kind of horses that they might be in real life. Um, in the sense that, you know, if you can upload your own design, you are likely going to get horses with like a unicorn or um, a zebra or whatsoever. So we felt like, okay, no, if we're going to the reality, then it needs to be something realistic. Um, and that's kind of how we got onto the idea of, you know, the horse jeans, like all the color jeans, making sure that you could really strategically breed for color, um, which I think was really awesome because then you can really have a strategy. And I, I know I played horse in the past, for example, and I believe that they have this breeding system where it's just... Each coat color has some certain percentage of randomness or chance. So then it works, obviously, and you can really keep certain colors more rare. But in reality, that's not really how it works because it depends on the genes you get from your parents. Just like I, like I have freckles all over my face, which also usually happens if one of your parents have them or if the right stuff comes together. So we felt like that would be really cool to do with um, horse reality as well. And I already kind of talked about this in the news post that I posted about a week ago, but um, I felt like I wanted to just say a person. Um, also, I, I'm still drinking my coffee right now. Because <laughs> I just, I don't know, I got a little bit anxious as well, because it's the first time for me that I'm doing something like this. So um, I think I went to the bathroom twice before I did this. <laughs> just drinking a coffee. I mean, I... I <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and I know I don't have to stress, but like, you know, we wanted to make this low key, but then still, if you do this live, then people are going to watch it, and then I am here with other people watching me do a live stream, and I'm always afraid, I'm a perfectionist, so I'm always afraid when things go wrong, just like it happened earlier, for me it would be like, no, it has to be perfect, if I click live stream, then, you know, we should be live, and I should be there, and everything needs to go perfectly. We're sometimes a little bit of a hassle, <laughs> but um, I'm getting better. It's getting better. And you know, you just need to adjust a little bit. Um, and I think if we're going to do this kind of thing more often, then it probably will go better each time. 
But um, yeah, I think that is kind of how we got started with Horse Reality. And I think in 2000, I thought it was 2012 or 13 even that we started the first alpha. But actually, I found some pictures today or yesterday when I was looking back in folders that I thought were long lost that I have that I have screenshots from 2000, yeah, early 2012. But I also found something from 2011, which I thought was really curious. Which I think I cannot show because my laptop just doesn't hold everything at the same time. Let me see if I can at least open one page. Um, but basically, when I started with the game, I knew nothing about um, making games or developing, coding, anything. Pretty much the only thing I did was... Well, I was, I was fairly lucky. I met my boyfriend in 2011 and he happens to be a developer. Um, or well, at that time, he is now a teacher, but, um, kind of, yeah, he, so he kind of gave me the, the basics to start with developing, like how I should start. And it was just a lot of trial and error, just trying things. Oh, it works. Okay. Don't touch it anymore. <laughs> and then continue to next. A lot of Google as well. Um, and I, I felt like it was pretty awesome that I, you know, really made the base of the game by myself. Um, I asked for help from my boyfriend a few times, but he got bored of horse reality pretty quickly. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I was always asking him stuff like, oh, how do I do this? Oh, and how can I do that? And if someone needs to log in, like, you know, how does that work? And I got always super excited about it. And he was like, oh God, I've been developing all day. Do I need to do even more? <laughs> So he didn't really want to do the thing again. Um, let me see. Oh, yes. Yeah, here I found one. I can maybe drag it onto the screen. Oh, Julian, you're in the way. I'm sorry. Move your image a little bit. You're in my way. <laughs> let me see. And I think there are a few alpha players who have been with us for this long a time who are still looking at, you know, what we're doing. And there are a few that don't really play anymore, but they, you know, they check in every once in a while just to see where we've went. Um, but basically the, the image that I'm currently showing is, this is 2012. So I believe this was pretty much one of the very first versions that, that was live. You can already see this is Trisha. So she's been with us for all those years. Um, and if you look at the screen, you can see that it's kind of the similar, uh, like the same style that we are currently using as well. So I kind of stuck with it, I guess. The only thing I was not really happy with is like the menu on the left side. Initially, he had on the right side as well. Um, because there were so many menu items and I was just confused. I didn't know how to do the open and fold thingy. To like, you know, where you can click on a plus and then it drops down. I did not, didn't know how to do that. So I just added everything in there. And at some point I figured it out for the top menu. But then I felt like, well, it's already there. We're already used to it. So let's just stay like that. Um, but yeah, we went through a lot of phases. And I think this was one of the first ones that we started with. But um, so also you can see that there, the focus was on horse only. We did not have backgrounds. We didn't have any items either. We only had horses, um, which I mean, I think it's the important in a horse game, <laughs> if not the most important. So, yeah, right, the horse game, most important. So, uh, yeah, so I think that's kind of where it started. And we went through another phase in 2015, but the thing is, I've lost everything. I just can't find it anymore. Everything from 2015 is. I think it must have been on one of my older laptops, but I thought I had put everything in Dropbox or Google Drive. You have all those online things and it is just, um, I don't know. I've opened all of them, I've opened all my accounts, even my older email accounts, but I can't find it anymore. So it seems like everything from 2015 is gone. Um, well, maybe people still have screenshots, but and I remember that I, I, in 2015, I was actually doing an internship at Gamius where I, this was my first game internship. 
And I was super excited because I did communication multimedia design. So they focus mostly on, you know, web design, graphic design, um, photography also, but not really games. Like there, there was one semester only that was about games. And that was in all the four years, you had eight weeks of game stuff. So I was super excited that I got to do my internship there. And during this time, I was also still working on harsh reality. So I, um, I got to write an article about it, which was pretty fun. Um, so I was hoping that I could still find it, but then they renewed their website. And so the article is gone. <laughs> so I was so sad. I was like, no, I, I was so hoping that they still had my image, but unfortunately that's the case. So yeah, a little bit sad about that, but, um, so basically horse reality has been in my life for almost 10 years now which is pretty crazy to think about because we have only been like officially live in 2018. And maybe I can even also just explain this um, live because I've heard a lot of people say that Horse Reality was put online too soon. Like we still are kind of, you know, a lot of things are still in development. Um, and I feel like I give a pretty nice explanation for that is that in 2016, I was graduating and um, I still felt like a junior coder. So I felt like I really needed the um, experience first to learn, you know, coding in a better way. Um, so I decided to start working at a company where I could learn this. But so I did. Um, but at some point, yeah, they just started reorganizing things. And um, like, I had a really great time over there. I had a friend of mine um, who is now one of my friends and she, she might be watching. That would be fun. <laughs> but um, like, I had a super nice connection with her and it was always so much fun. But at some point she decided that she wanted to work somewhere else because of several reasons. And basically the entire company decided to reorganize after that because basically her leaving got them thinking. Um, and for me, it was like, oh, she left. So for me, it doesn't really feel the same anymore. And I think a lot of people maybe know the feeling, you know, that if you work somewhere, there's this one person who is your body and you can just always have fun with and you, you know, enjoy their company. And that's kind of what I had with her. Um, so when she was gone, I did not have that same connection with anyone else. And I know that my contract was expired in May, 2018, it was, I think, um, so it was either, or it would be renewed or it would expire. I would no longer have a job over there. And remember that at the time I was mostly working with small clients. So I was kind of being um, a tech consultant or a tech assistant or help, help desk, something like that. You know, someone would have issues with their website, they would call us and I would be the person who would help them. And, uh, but this company that I worked at decided that they no longer wanted to work with the smaller clients that rather do very large projects. And I remember that I always felt very bored when I would work a large project because then I would always work on the same thing. And I usually like the diversity, like just doing a lot of small things. Um, so that was one of the reasons. And also during this period, there was not much work because they were transitioning. So a lot of those people were, um, you know, those clients were leaving. And for me, it was just a bit boring. So I asked if I could work more freely in the meantime, but they felt like, you know, it would be a little bit weird for the others working because they had work to do and that I could be working on my own project. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I understand that. But at the same time, I was doing nothing. So, and a day is very long if you don't have anything to do, but you have to be somewhere, you know, so you have to go to work, but do nothing. Wait till phone rings or till you get an email. So super boring. Um, so basically, yeah, that definitely was a little bit of a struggle for me. And I asked them for like, well, can I maybe go back to, uh, or work three days a week instead of four? Because then I have two days for reality. Um, and at least I get, you know, I get less money for it. But at the same time, I can do something and not sit still all day. So, um, because that really, yeah, it just felt like a waste of time. And when we had this conversation, it turned out that decided that contract would not be you know, it would expire and I wouldn't be renewed. Um, but actually during this time, I also had started my Kickstarter, which was mainly so that I could work during my summer holiday and, um, you know, in the weekends and just finish some of the artwork. But then suddenly my contract was going to expire in May. 
and it was either or I find a new job and then again don't have many time for Schwelody and you know when would it be finished because like this you can always continue on but yeah but it's true right like this kind like this kind of game is this kind of game is just there are so many ideas it never no, it definitely never ends and also with with all those horse breeds and so many colors there's always new stuff to add so I felt like, well, you know what, um, let's just go for it. And even though I knew that I would not be able to finish Horse Valley in time, I felt like it was kind of an hour and never situation because in May I would not have a job anymore. And then in Holland you get money. Oh, someone said, oh, my son is so bad again, apparently. I will just wait for a little bit if someone can see. Oh, they say the flow is too strong. Okay, I will just maybe take down your sketching for a little bit. And then see... Um, I'll close all my other stuff as well. I know for myself, just keep on rambling all the time. <laughs> Let me quickly see. Yeah, so I see that a lot of my moderators are talking in the live stream chat in Discord, but I just cannot see. I I can see it better in the YouTube chat. <laughs> it sounds as if you were randomly speed up at some points. So. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that was not intended. Let me just switch to my big screen. I can see that my laptop is also quite slow. <laughs> oh, no worries, Aura. It happens. I think it's also with the internet here, though. I, I, since this week, we suddenly have some internet issues. Um, or at least someone asked me earlier if we have... Uh, it's called KPN. And yes, we have KPN. So if they're having issues, then... I have a bit of a problem too. Um, yeah, so I hope, but I also see my screen is super slow in Streamlabs. So maybe I do need to restart. Maybe I just need to restart again. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that they have issues with the audio. Oh Lord, um, let me just, can I, can I restart a stream? Wouldn't that be a problem though? If I restart OBS right now or, or would it continue? I think it will maybe be a, be a problem. Hmm. Try and see if that works. <laughs> Sorry, it's so wonky all the time. Streaming. I hope it doesn't suddenly switch to private mode because I think that's how my how yes, it was set. Yes. It, yeah. yeah, it was the previous OBS setting was like that. So I hope that it switches, but I'm still not sure if it is changing properly and if I have the right key currently. Sometimes I'm feeling like I'm just talking to myself and I'm not sure 
if I have the right stuff turned on. For some reason, everyone is now still seeing my other screen while in the regular OBS. <laughs> Why are you all seeing this? Oh, I haven't transitioned yet, duh. <laughs> Seriously, I'm such a noob with this. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, like God. Say, points for trying, points for trying. Yeah. Seriously, can, I'm just wondering, can we also hear Jewel in right now, or is this still not working? Uh, or at least for me, you're now gone suddenly. You said something and then you were gone. But maybe everyone else hears you and I don't. <laughs> I see nothing in my Discord sound. <laughs> okay, so everyone else can hear Julalyn right now, but now I can't hear her anymore. I thought I had the correct settings turned on though. Um. That's gonna be hard talking. Oh, we heard one thing, then nothing. Okay, yeah, so that is the same for me. <clears throat> like, Jill Lynn, I hope you can hear us. I'm not sure what you did. I heard you for a second, and suddenly it was all gone. I didn't change anything. Audio, stereo... It's so weird. Oh, she's entirely gone now. <laughs> Julian is gone. My screen is black, guys. You know why? Because julian has gone. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's a ride over here. It's a really fantastic ride. <laughs> it's like Chulalin has left the building. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if she had connection issues. I was like, yeah, we can hear her. And suddenly she was like, Poof, gone. So, oh, she, <laughs> okay. She just texted that her computer froze. <laughs> Oh, 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 it is hilarious, but okay. I'm so glad that you're all bearing with us though. <laughs> oh, this is like two hours of insanity or four hours of insanity. <laughs> but basically what I did just now is I used Streamlabs previously and well, that obviously was not working today. So I just turned back to the old school OBS and that seems to be working at least with her sound but then her computer froze which was an issue Am oh I are you back <laughs> you're back <laughs> yes <laughs> it was so weird because now my sound was working I was like yes I can hear you and they say they can hear you and then poof you were gone <laughs> I was going to say, the streaming gods is not on our side today. <laughs> no, but I guess... There is a higher power. <laughs> I mean, with everyone currently working from, you know, everywhere, I can kind of imagine that internet is an issue everywhere right yeah. now. Yeah. Let me see if I can find you. Oh, yeah, aren't streaming yet. <laughs> me, I'm opening up. Oh, she's back, guys. Yes. <laughs> and everyone is super are. stoked that they can hear you. Everyone's like, yes, we hear her. <laughs> yeah. 
So nice. I'm so happy. That so we can switch nice. back to your screen. Oh Lord. Yes. Well, I think we've I'm heard good. we've heard enough from me in the meantime. So we're gonna start with all the other good stuff that we have. Um, I mean, originally we would we would stream till about six. Would we'll just see how it goes, and depending on how rocky the sound is, and the rest of the stream for the entire evening, we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> um, so let's see. So what did you draw in the meantime? Because you already drew quite a lot of stuff, right? Let's see. We have started. We started with this one. Right here, a little sitting mascot. The mascot still doesn't have a name, right? No, that's still something that we wanted to do and I keep forgetting about. Yeah. Is that we yeah. don't have a name. <laughs> yeah. So when you drew yeah. our mascot, did you yeah. think of it as a boy or as a girl? I feel like it's a boy, but I'm not sure if yeah, you it, felt the same it thing. It feels like a boy. But, yeah, right. Uh, it can totally be uh, both gender. It could be a boyish girl. <laughs> <laughs> a tomboy. A tomboy. <laughs> oh, I'm just know. so glad that people can hear you now. Yay! And, <laughs> yeah. And now I just hope I'm the not sound a ghost is. And I'm not a bird. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope that it sticks with us, though. Like, if you yeah, talk, yeah, yeah. that it won't be um, annoying. Oh, yes. Yeah. Someone has a, a non-binary pony. Yeah. <laughs> non beanie pony. <laughs> derpy horse. Oh, yeah. Derpy horse is also something that we talked about. <laughs> we had yeah, fun. Yeah, derpy, derpy. yeah, we had fun for, like, the April Fool's event. To make all the horses derpy. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. Like <laughs> turn all the horses derpy. It would be funny. Although not everyone is always excited about our April Fool's thing. No. Uh, <laughs> no, because last time everything changed into fish, and then apparently there are people Hi. who have we have something against fish and they just don't like to look at fish or something. I'm not sure what kind of it is. But so some of them were kind of like, no, I don't want to look at fish. <laughs> so like it was, fish. yeah, so it was very funny for me at least. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, it's just for a day. So usually people are kind, kind of okay with it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, apparently, it. apparently it's really a thing uh, that you just have some kind of thing or not a thing for fish. So not sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, and of course there's this person called Mike the Fish in our YouTube channel. <laughs> so what's wrong with fish? Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. But if your name is Mike the Fish, then <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you like the fishes. Yeah. Someone also says like fish phobia. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, I also really like my cheeks. My cheeks are just hurting from all the laughing <laughs> already. <laughs> this is always when I get when I get yeah. nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nervous laughs. You have many more hours to go. You have many hours ahead of you. Yeah, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Yeah. So let me see. So you're drawing our mascot right now. Yes. And can you scroll back to what you did earlier? Because I already... Yeah. It went too fast. Let's see, here. Oh, that one's also nice. One. Yeah. And then we have... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Always nice. Always nice. And then I was working on one, but the computer froze. So I lost that sketch, but I managed to take a photo. So it's not lost forever. <laughs> oh, but you haven't saved your Photoshop yet. That's like the first rule, right? Yeah. It's just like I auto always, save. <laughs> when, I, when, when I'm not uh, streaming, I'm very good at saving. But when, when in a stream, I forget it very easily. <laughs> <laughs> I get uh, so occupied with other things. Yeah, I kind of imagine. Yeah. 
So I think I already talked to you about this before, but I um, obviously without all the people here. So I was thinking if you could explain once more about um, how you got into the like sketching horses and the artist work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Well, I have been drawing all my life. Started very early. We had uh, horses when I was little. So of course I was drawing horses right from the start and it didn't help that i really liked my little pony so (laughs) lots of my little ponies when i was little Uh, and i just kept on drawing horses and i went to riding school and horses was simply my favorite uh, subject to draw Mm -hmm. reconnection successful beep boop Oh, and of course now I can't hear Julian anymore because it reconnected. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, Discord, open up, please. (laughs) Constantly problematic network, yeah, definitely. (laughs) Oh, and here I thought, I was like, oh no, Julian is gone, and nope, it was me. Watch the stream, please. Can I hear Julian? Oh no. So now I can watch Julian, but I cannot, I can watch, I can't hear. So literally my connection just threw me off. It's terrible today. It's so insane. We tested this so many times. And then today, of course, on a Friday, everything goes wrong. They're also doing a lot of construction work over here. So I'm not sure if that might be an issue. Let me see. Disconnect. Reconnect to Discord. No, I can't hear Julian at all. Hmm. What to do, what to do when the internet is failing you? I already turned off like everything on my computer that uses anything at all. Like, I only have Discord and OBS turned on. And then my browser for talking to you all for the live chat. It's very weird that this is happening today. Why suddenly is my sound off? Like I was talking to her just fine earlier. 
and everything was fine. And then suddenly she's gone. And it's not my settings because it was I didn't change anything. It's just my connection that suddenly failed. Um, this is correct. This is, all my settings are correct now. Can anyone else like hear her? Oh no. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? They're not having issues here right now. <laughs> I'm just quickly gonna check um, with my boyfriend because I think he just came home. Or maybe it was my brother with Mochi, who is super sweet. But I might have to restart again. But I think if I stop streaming, then suddenly my streaming key will be gone and then I have to start over. Wait a second.
Okay. I think we have you working. Oh, but now I, I think it's not recording you though. Nee, Koen. Ja. Hij, hij, hij neemt haar niet op. Ja. Maar je hoort haar wel nu. Mm. Mijn naam nog steeds? Mm -hmm. Oké. Okay. Hoor je haar naam nog steeds? Julian, kan je keep talking? Or her singing. You can hear me, right? But it is so strange because I was talking to you and then I think it was when my boyfriend came home, suddenly the internet got cut off. And then when I came back, suddenly your, your sound, sound was gone. gone. But I, I have, have not changed, changed anything, anything except, except for that it lost connection, connection for like, like 10, 10 seconds. seconds. Hey, I, I think... think Ze nee. zegt niks ook, hè? Oh, Oké, okay, okay, talk, talk again, Julian. En nu stop talk? talk? No, I think it's recording me now. Twice. Okay, say something loud. No. Yeah, I think it's it's working. Can you make one loud noise? Boom. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, that worked. <laughs> Thank you. One loud noise. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> At least uh, I have humor. <laughs> now people said there are now two echoes. Yeah, I remember that it was twice. <laughs> but I think it's just lagging behind a little bit. I think he changed the settings already. And then it says reconnection successful, and this is what happened last time, and then Julalin was gone. Ay ay. Oh, but now you're still here. Yes. I'm I'm clinging oh. on to the other life. Please. Please, computer, do it and just keep working, please. But then I noticed like my mom was also reading along and she was um saying that our internet provider is apparently having some maintenance today between two and f or b before five o'clock at least Yay. so i was like no please don't <laughs> please not today please it's Any insane day, today. <laughs> yeah um just for the record for everyone are you still hearing me twice or is it now working properly as probably uh, as it can. For as far as it is normal. Okay. Oh. Now, let me just click your stream again. Mm -hmm. And then add it in there. And then stop touching anything. <laughs> just making sure everything keeps on working. Please, <laughs> for the sake of for, for the sake of my own, God. yeah, for the sake of my own mental health. <laughs> yes, because I feel so sad because I just wanted to make this nice surprise. 
um, live stream for everyone, and then the internet is failing, and then my computer is failing. Oh, yeah. But at least we put some letters in our neighbors' letterboxes to ask for, like, please, can you not drill today? Because, you know, I'm very busy today, and I can't have you drilling in my walls. (laughs) Not today. (laughs) No, please don't. Oh, Lord. Okay, so I think we have connection again, and I hope that we can continue where we left off. Um, I will make sure to edit out all the crappy stuff for the for the the final version of our live stream, so that people don't have to see all the technical difficulties all the time. <laughs> because uh, I think it's going to be like two hours of you know content, and then two hours of technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, but I'm so happy. That, right. <laughs> yeah, but I think everyone is very, um, you know, nice about it. So I'm super glad that oh, it's yeah. now working properly. <laughs> so nice. let's let's hope. Let, so for everyone, like, please pray with us that our internet yeah. provider will keep on working, that my laptop will not freeze, <laughs> and that that you will not won't freeze. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> So the entire schedule is going to be moved up a little bit, but at least, um, you know, it's fine, I I think. I think most of the people here um, that I invited today kept most of the schedule already free um, so that they could be here. So I'm really, yeah, hoping, looking forward to it working normally now. But at least if it's working this worse this time, then at least next time it can only get better, right? (laughs) Just thinking positive here. (laughs) Now we know what to expect. Exactly. So next time we will start at 12. So we have two hours. (laughs) Two hours for technical problems. Yes. But um, at least it's working now. Great. Yeah. So kind of where we were left off was that you were explaining about how you got into this. Yeah. And... um, Uh... Where was I? Uh, like yeah, you, you I, lost uh, horses all your yeah, life? Yeah, yeah and uh, I worked as a cleaner for many years and decided uh, after have been cleaning other houses for six years that I wanted to uh, focus on my art and uh, uh, work with it professionally. So mm-hmm. I applied for a comic school. So I was in comic school for two years and during those two years, I was it. I think it was my second year that uh, Delorean contacted me and be like, "We have a game, and <laughs> yeah. are you interested?" <laughs> so that's how I was introduced to horse reality. Yeah, it was like twenty fourteen ish, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was somewhere around there. Yeah, it was kind of a long time ago. Like this is already yeah. six years. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy to think that it has been that long already. Yeah, it's very crazy. But it must have been a lot of fun. Because yeah. in the beginning, you have mostly drawn like the sketches, like the poses. And yes. then lately, you've been mostly working on our mascots. And I mean, that's mainly because we still have a lot of your line arts laying around and still a lot yep. of grayscales to make. <laughs> But if you could choose the next breed that you would like to draw, which breed would it be for you? Ooh. If you could pick um, anything you wanted. North Swedish draft. <laughs> I think there are quite a few that would agree with you. Yeah. I've seen a few talking about that one because that's a quite big one, right? Like a chunky yeah. boy. Yeah. At least I really they're... like draft horses. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'm a little bit biased and there are a few moderators I know that also love the chunky we also call them like chunks chunky boy (laughs) we just love those those are really good yeah yeah see chunky chunks (laughs) but um, so North Swedish and why would that be? because you're from Sweden (laughs) yeah I'm a little partial. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, basically, I love draft horses. So, um, yeah, that's the first one that I come to think of. It is the North Swedish horse. 
they're so if gorgeous. you yeah they're very nice mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one of our moderators says like echo pecky for the win <laughs> i'm like <laughs> yeah i like the chunky boys but i know a few people really like the techies I'm not even yeah. sure how you pronounce it. I always say like Akal Techie. Uh, I'm not. Akal Tech? Yeah. I think that's always an issue with the horse breeds and the many languages that they're coming yeah. from. It's like there's so much um, like difference in language and yeah. how you and pronounce, pronounce certain it. things. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And I also remember like we had this one issue um, with the. Claude Ruber and the Knapsrooper. <laughs> 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 because they also look alike so much, the name. Yeah. And yep. then you, I think you sent me, did you send me the, the Claude Ruber twice, I think? Yes, I think it was something like that. Or oh. I re- had the wrong name on the wrong breed or something. It was something <laughs> like that. And I was like, oh, sh- darn it. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, it's not this read. <laughs> you saved it. You saved it. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was pretty funny that I was like, um, but you already drew this one, and you're like, huh? Oh, yeah. I thought the name was familiar. I think you said something like, oh, the name was familiar. Yeah. <laughs> but you just didn't think of it too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like the names yeah. definitely look alike a lot. Yeah, they're very very similar. <laughs> So let's see. I'm wondering if there is anything that anyone else would like to know from you since, because it's been a while for you to have live streamed. And I guess since you're here right now, so I'm wondering if anyone that is currently with us maybe has a question for you or if they have something that you can draw for us because you're here now. Yeah. And um, I also still have to switch to Dominica and Hester because we will do a little bit of different color work. Um, But maybe we can draw like one horse together. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, we we talked last time about the the 10 minute, one minute and 10 second challenge. Yeah, right. Yes, we did. Maybe we can turn it into the five minute, one minute, ten seconds yeah, we, challenge. Yeah, we can just like, like a that, little yeah. bit, a little bit shorter, and then I can yeah. after that switch to someone else. But let's see because someone asks, Anne Peters is asking, what is your favorite style of drawing? My favorite style, I think it must be the cartoon drawings because they are rather easy and quick to do, so it doesn't really take lots of time. Mm-hmm. I really like to do it. And it's very loose. You can let your imagination flow. Yeah, that's what you said to me last time. So yeah. just for everyone else here is that I was test- testing with Julian um, a week ago. And then I was also wondering, like, how do you draw these things? And maybe you can give them an example again for, like, the perfectionist way <laughs> that we both had in the past. <laughs> Yeah, that you want to draw like with a few lines and the difference yeah. the difference between drawing loosely and Yeah. The... Like yeah, this drawing here, it's very loose. You can see multiple lines for each line. Mm-hmm. But if uh, <laughs> this is how I drew in the beginning when I was very young because I was perfectionist from the beginning. I wanted to do everything correctly. I didn't sketch beforehand. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to do everything perfect and as you already can see line by line it gets very very stiff Mm -hmm. extremely extremely stiff i'm trying not to do many lines here trying yeah because i think this is also the way that i drew in the past yeah so that is definitely different than the left version. <laughs> yeah. Already. <laughs> this one is much more stiffer. Not much uh, life in it compared to the other sketch. Yeah, exactly. The other sketch is more loose, which creates more of a soul, I would say. Mm-hmm. And uh, <clears throat> most artists will uh, agree and say that uh, be loose with the sketches. 
because if you lose the sketches uh, becomes better if you do like i do right now mm -hmm. yeah, you, you, you can see the difference yeah then how do you get to the final result though because usually the like the sketch on the left side is usually mm -hmm. not how you po how you would post it in a comic book or something right no generally no then i go in afterwards because i already have this sketch mm -hmm. let's see if i did for a comic book i just see there we have the sketches I turn it down and then i go in and do it like this just add just drawing above the layer and that way i create a line art mm -hmm. i'm still trying to be loose with it not be perfectionist Trying to yeah, but then, but then now you have like way less lines, right? Than you would have yeah. in the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that most artists that agree is that hey, most often the sketch is much much better than the finished drawing because the sketch is so uh, full of life because of all the little tiny lines. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah, yeah. But I also remember with us, I think with our um, NPCs that it also is very noticeable that the moment you start, you have these very loose sketches and they yeah. look a lot more alive than when you have like the final result. It's obviously more 3D, 3D style, yeah. like say, yeah. see, me, see my, see my realistic. Yeah. That's yeah. how you say it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but then, um, it's just very different than like the sketchy style. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very different, I would say. But then still, even though this one is with way less lines, it, this is still more alive than the one you drew on the right side. Yeah, if we compare those two, then yeah, there is a little difference. Small, small, small difference. Yeah, so then you would usually just make your sketches and then you just keep drawing on top of it then. Yeah, yeah. To get to the final result. Yeah, so it becomes, so let's see, if we can place those two next to each other. It becomes something like that. I'm okay. already quite amazed how far you would get with the other one though. <laughs> like, <laughs> they look so similar already. Like, I would never be able to do this right now with just those few lines, it would be kind of a mess. A little bit. Yeah. They're pretty, they're, they're pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty I close. mean, that's what you get with all the, you know, all your practice, like you've done a I lot. Have. Lots of practice, many years, many, many years of practice. How, how many years have you been working now? Like in the cartoon horse art? Uh, in the cartoon uh, business, I have been for, what is it now? Eight years. I started 2012 with my first comic. And from there, it has just continued. So now I work for uh, drawing cartoons. I am book illustrator. I'm working for online games. Everything horses. Everything is horse re related, more or less. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I am uh, uh, having this as a full-time job. Mm -hmm. I'm just drawing all day. I'm never getting tired of it. <laughs> some, some, we all have art blocks now and then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even me, even me, I can have those days when it's like, no, I can't draw today. <laughs> But it's only natural. But you also have like um, these days where you can write because you make those big sketch dumps. Oh no. Is my internet gone again? Yeah, you had your fun. <laughs> oh, we're back. I think I lost you for a little bit. A little second. Yeah, no, a little bit more than a few seconds. <laughs> it froze for me a little bit. So I was really worried that I was losing my internet again, but I think it was only my connection to you. Because yeah. I, I don't see my OBS having any issues currently. Yeah. 
<laughs> Julian, no, come back. <laughs> I'm not ready to leave you. No. <laughs> oh no, there she is. <laughs> yep. I was like, oh no, please come back to me. <laughs> Any suggestion on what to draw? I haven't really seen anyone else, I think, who was mm -hmm. asking about what you can draw. Let me just quickly scroll back a bit because they're so fast sometimes. Like anyone loves your sketching. Aww. Oh, and someone else is asking um, if you like the trotter as much as the draft type of the North Swedish. What's going on? Good question. I hope I saved. As it says, your stream has stopped. Let's see. <laughs> you hear me? Yes, I do hear you. Do you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Let's see. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just noticed that one of our moderators <laughs> took a screenshot. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> she took a screenshot of my boyfriend and then she edited it in my profile. <laughs> nice. So now it says like, yeah, so nice. oh, I'm just gonna cry from all the laughing. Like the internet is so bad and the connection keeps breaking, but I'm still having tons of fun. <laughs> but she is like edited his face. She edited his face over my um, own image <laughs> but he, he was like looking at the screen like uh it's going wrong it's not working <laughs> so oh lord yeah <laughs> technical support speaking oh. yeah oh lord yeah <laughs> every time i think like internet is all right then it's breaking all the time <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah. lord let me see quickly. I had one other question. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh yeah, she was, um, someone said like how we met each other, but I think it was through deviant art, right? Yeah, it must have been, must have been something like that. Cause I remember. Yeah, it must have been deviant art through it... notes. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, because I think yeah. What I did in the beginning of the game is I was just kind of searching through Deviant Art to see where is it Deviant or Deviant actually Deviant Art Deviant Art. <laughs> Anyhow, I was just I was just scrolling through. Oh, they say draw a mascot with a foal. Yes, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> so then. Um, I think it was somewhere on, yeah, it must have been on different art because I, I was searching for people and I was looking for everyone with a queen art, horse art, equestrian art, anything with the word horse or a queen and uh, art. And then probably I found your profile. Yeah, deviant, yeah. Oh, deviant art. <laughs> deviant. <Yes. laughs> yeah, I thought so, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> Who said? So someone says you say so much time. Oh my lord! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Previously, it was the word like. So I'm trying to cut down on that word because for me in English, like in Dutch, when I talk, I say um or a uh, a lot of times when I can't get out of my words. And then in English, it was like. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. I had a robot sound from you. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> but I hope. I definitely used the word like. So the first time I was trying for this, like the live stream, I kept saying like, and I'm still doing it. I still notice that I'm doing it. But now that I've at least heard myself once, 
I noticed. Yeah. So I was like this, and then they were like, and she was like, and then I was like, so I got super annoyed by myself. <laughs> I was like one of them. Oh, see, I'm doing it again. It was similar to one of those American types, um, which I usually am not very fond of. Yeah. But I noticed I used it a lot. So I'm trying to cut back on it and I'm trying to find my words before I try to say something. Because I think that is usually the issue is that I'm talking while thinking at the same time. Instead of yeah. first thinking what you want to say and then say it. Um, yeah. But I'm already happy that my English isn't as bad as most of the Dutchies because a lot of Dutch people have this really bad accent. And I mean, I still have an accent, but I don't feel like it's that bad as most Dutch people. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I feel like that's mostly with many um, people from other countries. Yeah. Right? It's just... Because I think when people are from somewhere from Scandinavia, it also has a certain way of pronouncing yeah, things yeah, in every, English. Everyone has uh, everyone has their own little accent. Yeah, I exactly. I have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> we all have an accent. It's fine. We all have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. So then I think if you will draw this one and with a full, then I think. Yeah. Maybe after that I can switch to one of the other artists because I think they've been waiting for quite a bit of time, but then <laughs> the internet just kept failing all the time. I'm so sorry, guys. I just hope that it just keeps working from now on. And it, I think my mom said it was still about five that the construction work would be there or uh, not construction work, yeah. but maintenance. So I hope yeah. that from now on they're done. We're hoping. Crossing our fingers. Yeah, still like this. <laughs> Hopefully it remains like Hopefully. this. <laughs> oh, and we were talking about our, our way of saying things, right? So I see that this person says, Golden Heart says, like, I have ADHD, so sometimes I just sputter out random letters and then go completely silent. This sounds very <laughs> similar to my boyfriend. <laughs> my boyfriend is also using, uh, how do you say it? He uses just, he talks a lot. Like, people think that I talk a lot, but then he is just as bad. <laughs> and then he will make up these weird sentences, because then in his head, he's already gone way further than what he has said. So then I'm talking yeah. to him and like, what? Huh? What are you saying? Like, what do you mean with this sentence? Why? What do I mean? You, you know, it's just, just like I said. And I'm just flabbergasted looking at him like um well this is what you said and he was like no i said it like this way i'm like maybe in your head but not to me <laughs> but i think that definitely is a characteristic of adhd people <laughs> like you know their their head their brain just moves way faster than your mouth is actually yeah. following you so it's crazy sometimes yeah. but it's hilarious as well so Let's see, because I now I'm getting messages from all over about the live stream. Yeah, see, my mom says like they have uh, not only maintenance, but also, gosh, for the Dutch people, storing. <laughs> I forgot the word, um, like that it's not working anymore. I don't know, um... just... English, my English is bad sometimes. Yeah. When you have to come up with a word, then <laughs> I just can't come Take up with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad that someone can relate to my boyfriend, lol. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's so adorable. Yeah, they say this drawing is so cute. Little hearty. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Yeah. <laughs> so my mom is. It's so funny because my mom is also watching this. <laughs> and she's like, "It's a failure. <laughs> like it's failing. Like it's it, it. I think it is like that, but I think there's a different word for it though." Um, but let's just hope it holds on a little bit longer because now it seems to be working fine and I don't sound yeah. like a robot because in the past when I was testing with someone else it felt like robot-ish yeah oh he's so cute with a little heart it's the cuteness <laughs> giving it a tiny bit of color <laughs> Yes. Only so a little. On pink. Uh, the moment I talk about the internet connection, it is like beep beep boop boop. I'm failing. Yeah. Blap. I'm gone. <laughs> Let's see. Well, it says it reconnected, so I think it should yeah. be fine. Yeah. And I literally the, just three, said, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So three final sketches. Three, uh, let's see, three sketches was lost because of difficulties, <laughs> but they are in the stream, so you can go back and look at them, and they will be there. I will yeah, go exactly. back and take screenshots later and resketch. <laughs> but what we good. did here was uh, the mascot with a little fold. Mm -hmm. And then we have the beginning of this one, which is finished. So go back in the stream and you will see the finished sketch of that one. And then we had the first one we did. And then we had the Delta Point mascot that we made. So there are three sketches which is in the stream. So it's just we go back and you will see them. Uh, someone else is asking if you could draw a little North Swedish draft sketch, be and then and then end it with a boom, <laughs> and then end it with a boom. <laughs> I'll see if we can do one a little quickly. Let's see. So a little North Swedish draft, like. Oh lord, no. Someone also says like, oh the mascot should become a breed in horse reality. <laughs> <laughs> we can just that like <laughs> Then we can just add your little um like the Judolin breed. <laughs> yes. And then we go comic style. Now it's really, really quickly. Sometimes my image is just so bad. It doesn't follow. Well, it does, but it's very pixelated sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> and someone says something about your toolbar, like sometimes they, they keep seeing it flicker, you know, when you zoom in and out or move the screen. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> it's living its own life. Oh lord. Also, Phoenix of Destruction says, a breed that has all the codes of the world. Yeah, that's crazy. The Shetlander. Oh, Ooh. but that's probably that's probably a comment for the Shetland pony. That was some that someone mentioned. Yeah. April Fool's update. All the foals all the horses are cartooned. <laughs> that would also be funny. It'd be a lot of work, I think, Cartoon but horses. It would definitely be funny. Or at least I could say it would be a lot of work, but then people also say like, well, it's wild to me that Julian can just slam these out. It takes me so long to get my sketches done. <laughs> it's practice. 
It's all practice, guys. You just need to practice a lot. Then it gets better. It's all practice. Yeah, because we also have an intern right now who's working on some fun stuff for Harsh Reality. And she, I think, <laughs> I asked her to make our, um, how do you say it? The creator. It's something that I've always wanted to do. And yeah. it, it just needs a lot of art. So I felt like that would be amazing for at least an intern to start on that because then you have kind of like a base you could use later for testing and all that stuff. And for the developers in the future, that at least one base of assets is ready. Yeah. <laughs> and she, and it was like this super long list of like, I need 24 eyes and brows and I need 24 mouths and hairstyles and clothing and whatever. And then, <laughs> She she made, I think, four body poses with a few hairstyles and a few eyes. She's like, yeah, I'm sorry that I'm so slow. And I'm like, you will get there. It's always in the beginning. Everyone is slow. It's just you need to make sure that you do, do it well, I think. And yeah. then if you do it more often, it will become very, um, you know, you become faster. Yeah. Everything mm -hmm. takes a little time in the beginning before you learn. That's just that's just the way it is. Yeah, exactly. Practice makes perfect or close to perfect. <laughs> it's art. It's never perfect. It's art. <laughs> it's, Let's art. Say that. it's art. It's <laughs> art. This is also what we have with Dominica. If she will join us after this, she is always like, oh, but this one, oh, I need to go back. I need to make, no, this leg is weird. I need to change the leg. Like, did you start yeah. coloring yet? Can I still, can I still change it? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, the same goes always for- Always think that you want to change a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it also, um, for our players, there's always someone who notices something. And I mean, I think that's yeah. also with artwork, there's always something that could be improved, but at some point you oh, just, yeah, at some point you just have to say like, this is it, this is what we go with. Otherwise you can, yeah. you know, especially with some of those breeds, you can keep improving all the time. Oh yeah. And honestly, never yeah. And honestly, also when you look at, um, a horse, in real life, sometimes they just look like the anatomy is super weird. Yeah. In real life as well. So we usually try to do a version of in between just the confirm or confirmation, the the anatomy looking nice at least, and yeah. then fitting with the breed. But it's difficult sometimes. Yeah. We have a little quickie, uh, not Swedish. First draft of a sketch. Nice. There is always things that can be changed. <laughs> They're all like, oh, I wish I just had a bit of the drawing talent. You just open, uh -huh. open Photoshop and then buy one of those tablet thingies. Like I have this one, for example, to start out with. This is the Wacom yeah. in Intuos. I think it... Originally, it was called a bamboo, but now the new one is the Wacom Intuos S, I think. Just like a small, yeah. small version. Um, and those are not even that, that yeah, expensive nice. either. The new ones are like 80 bucks, 80 euros. Yeah, I, I started out with a bamboo and it lasted for many, many years until I upgraded to a Intuos. And now I have a Cintiq. So I started with a bamboo and the bamboo is awesome for beginners and very affordable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. It's like super affordable. And even if you don't use it too often, you could even yeah. still sell it to someone else. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they're very affordable. And I feel like it's really easy to get used to the way of, you know, how it feels and how you can draw on a digital tablet, I think. Yeah. And what I feel, yeah, for me, it's also how I started in the past. I, I can still draw a little bit, but I never have enough patience to finish. I always make half drawings. <laughs> so <laughs> I used to, I wanted to learn how to grayscale so that I could make them myself. But then I noticed for me, it takes a lot of time. 
Um, yeah. For yeah, I mean, I took one of your. I think it was one of the more warm blood types, and just yeah. wanting to draw uh, the grayscale version of that. And I usually I can get the head done, and yeah. maybe also um, the legs, but I never get the body done. Like for the the area, -ish. and then it for me it becomes yeah. very flat, like not three D ish. But like yeah. um, I have always difficulty with the the depth of the drawing, with the highlights and the shadows, and making sure it looks um, like a three D image and not really yeah. flat. Yeah, that was always my issue. But then at some point it was like. You know, we found people who could draw much better and much faster. <laughs> and why would I do all those, that work? Because for me, the head alone would already take like eight hours before I finally yeah. had a bit, a little bit, you know, something that looked like a horse. Yeah. <laughs> and then you still had to do all the rest. And now we have Dominica. Yeah. So maybe this is also a nice time to... Um, Move up to Dominica, so I would just contact her in Discord yeah. as well. Oh, she Make says sure she's back. Let's see. Working. Yeah. Dominica, can you join us in Discord? Let's see. I hope the sound is normal now. Hello, can you hear me? Yes! Hello! Yay! Nice. Hello! I can hear you just perfect. Cool. Great. Well, I'm sorry that it took us so long to get everything working like normal. I hope the internet stays like this for now. Um, let me see. <laughs> I will close the stream of Julalyn. Yep. Yeah. And then I will switch to Dominica. So thank you so much, mm -hmm. Julian, for being here with us and bearing with all the technical difficulties. <laughs> no worries, it was a pleasure to be here. It was a little bit different than we hoped, but um, luckily... It worked out. It worked out, it worked out. exactly. <laughs> yes. Let's see, I will switch to Dominica's screen and then we will start with Dominica. Okay, let me share mine. Um, can you I see have... it all right? Let me quickly switch. Watch stream. Okay. Oh, but then the sound is gone, I think. Is it? Oh, no. You're just very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I'd let you do the work so nothing breaks in the meantime. <laughs> so, and... I'm just going to turn down your volume a little bit because you are very loud for me. All right. Let me see. I will do this in Discord. Oh, I'm so glad that we could transition normally, <laughs> at least. <laughs> <laughs> It was. Well, I hope I'm not too loud uh, for the stream as well. Well, I'm turning you down for my Discord at least, but I'm not sure if that changes in the live stream itself. So we have to hear from someone else if it maybe is very loud as well. I hope it's not. Um, hmm. Yeah, so babe. We will hear if anyone says something about it. I will just keep an eye on the YouTube chat for you. Um, mm -hmm. But basically, okay. we've taken the Shetland Pony Mare. And I know a lot of players want to see the Shetland Pony. Unfortunately, we haven't really drawn um, or drawn. We haven't really colored any of it yet. Which is kind of why I wanted to take this one um, for the stream, because I know it's a breed a lot of people like and that a lot of people want to see. So, I mean, you know, this is the perfect time, I think, to start showing it. It's also a little bit of a sneak peek, right? Because usually we never show grayscales. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, there is one thing I'm thinking about. Uh, I see it on the screen. It doesn't really show my my whole screen. Is that something that was intended? Um, no, that is something that is my mistake. I think. Let me see. Yeah, because I was also like to show the layers mm -hmm. while I'm working. So yeah. Oh, I'm resizing the wrong screen. Wait. I'm resizing the wrong screen currently. If you have a second. Um, okay. Fit to screen. This is the layer. This is the screen. Oh yeah, <laughs> I see it is. Yeah, that's because I had to select a new screen. Um, mm -hmm. It's good that I mentioned it though, because I totally would have overlooked. Let me see. It needs to be a little bit oh, smaller now, even. I'm still Peeking into the live stream, but in a second I'm going to just close it. Not <laughs> to get too distracted. Let me see. I th it doesn't fully fit, but most of it fits at least. I can maybe show it like this. Um, can I also say center? Center to screen. Transition. I think it should work like this then. Yeah, I don't show the top area because I feel like sometimes you might open up something or oh, yeah. um, like file yeah, names and such. It looks good. <clears throat> yeah, it's perfectly fine. Okay, so what should we do? Well, we have pretty much the Shetland Pony has almost all the colors. So it's one big color bomb. That's usually how we say it. Um, <laughs> so there are many colors we could do. But what does the audience want? Because that's the advantage of being here. Is well, we can ask players. Yeah, exactly. Oh Lord. <laughs> so <laughs> let's start with color number one. <laughs> A splashed uh, white one <laughs> done Appaloosa. <laughs> Give me something easy, guys, please. Maybe start Let with the done. Just start. Yeah, we, we could go maybe with first um, chestnut and then later turn it into a chestnut in the red done. Chestnut done, red done, however you want to say it. Depends on each language, I think. I like the strawberry done expression. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm going for, for the chestnut color and well, there are things that I need to uh, do before we get to the done part. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird when people are looking. <laughs> <laughs> that was my issue with programming always. When I would program and someone would stand behind me, I suddenly had like so many times making mistakes. It was so difficult for me. Oh no, internet's I'm going for uh -oh. oh you're back. You froze for about ten seconds, I think. Oh. It could be worse, right? So I'm going for a little bit of variation in the color itself. So mm -hmm. I make the base brown color and then I go with very soft brush and actually reveal a little bit of the other one. So like you have the red, the darker red chestnut underneath mm -hmm. and now you have the lighter one on top, but then with a mask layer, right? Yes, exactly. And um, <laughs> I want to remember about the nostril area and the eye area that are usually, uh, well, kind of dark. Not not really dark, but desaturated. It, if I make it too dark, then it's going to look pretty funky. And my bar is here. Well, my Photoshop is in Polish, so <laughs> I'm sorry you won't be able to read what I'm doing. 
but basically I, I like to play with the adjustment options. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, let's make it a little bit darker. I think in English, though, they are in the same area. Yes, yes. So it should be okay to just try and see it where it is. Oh, less. Sometimes, but I think most of it is recorded at least. Oh well, things like <laughs> that happen, I suppose, whenever you try to make it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is also kind of why I was thinking for um, the next few times that we can just have everyone record the process. For once so that we can upload um you know how every artist is drawing their part of mm -hmm. reality in a video because then you have more control like now you are really it's depending on how well the internet connection is for everyone so i feel yes. like it's probably better for maybe for our youtube channel that we could just um have everyone record a session on our computer without the internet and live streaming and then it's it would be much easier i think mm. yeah quite possible uh, definitely we could edit edit things out if something goes wrong but that's a plus so what are you doing right now you're making like um, a light lighter areas uh, yes i'm yes i'm making lighter areas uh, around the hoofs and the muzzle uh, also above the stifle because oftentimes uh, those areas are kind of uh, lighter, much lighter, mm -hmm. especially on chestnuts. Okay, not much, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now I actually like to make um, some parts darker, again for variation. And I keep all my layers clipped to the main grayscale mask. So that mm -hmm. I don't get any funny hairs sticking out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so many people are happy with the Shetland pony. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't think I was going to breed them, but man, I might have to. <laughs> <laughs> pretty cute. Yeah, they're I really so. cute. Okay. And I actually want <laughs> To make the muzzle a little bit less saturated. I'm having trouble here because my monitor and my tablet are showing different colors. So. Oh yeah, I've heard that from more people. That usually, I think mm -hmm. the the tablet I think is showing them less saturated or worse, one of the two. Uh -huh. In my case, it's showing them much, much brighter, which doesn't help. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so if anything seems off to you on your screen, just quickly, please let me know. If there is any green that sneaks in. I had issues with that too <laughs> before. I'm not really seeing green. I feel like the nose is very light, mm -hmm. very light gray, yeah, maybe, possibly. but... I mean, it's okay. not it's not that bad. We might fix that just in a bit. We're just trying to match the colors more or less. Let's put a little bit on the main. Ay ay, too much. It's tricky. It's I tricky wasn't even I'm... checking where I was looking. You said you <laughs> said the main. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was uh, trying to match the mane with the tail a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, that's also one thing that uh, the skin around the muzzle, when it gets closer to the head, it gets lighter and lighter. So I'm going to do, instead of just editing the layer, I'm going to create another one. And I'm going to make the second layer just a bit darker. And oh yeah. See, 
see how it looks like when I actually uh, when I hmm I see that people are also asking like which colors they have but um I can't honestly remember all of them. I know that they have a lot of colors and I think also a lot of white markings um, or patterns. So someone says like I Rabicano. Uh, yeah. I, you were totally sounding like a robot right now. Um, yeah, sorry. I but I think... <laughs> we'll have a lot of work with them, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think... Because someone says, like, do they have Rabicano? And I think they do. But honestly, we have so many breeds and grayscales and line arts and color sheets. So I call them color sheets. Like, we make um, these big spreadsheets with, for all the breeds that we have grayscales from. And then we add in everything that we know. And then we ask our researcher to go over them and make sure that all the colors they have are into there. Um, or like put in there but um the one for the shetland ponies i think was made quite a while ago already so i can't really remember which colors were there but i do remember at least like the base colors and then i believe cream done not sure about pearl i think it was also in there but i honestly cannot fully remember i would have to check um, so I could come back to that later. We'll get busy for sure. Yeah, they also have Appaloosa, like Leopard Complex. Mm -hmm. And what were all the other white stuff? Frame? Do they have Frame? I'm not sure. They definitely have Tobiano. Not entirely sure if they have Overo Frame. They might also have it, but... My brain just cannot remember all of those colors because we have so many breeds already and so many in the makings. Yes, mushroom. Okay. They have mushroom mm -hmm. indeed. So I have my basic chestnut and we are going for okay, done. And you can see I have so many layers already. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, wrong button. You're moving so fast. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to do it differently a little bit. I'm going to copy my chest now. Yeah. Again, wrong button. It's a little bit tricky because the contrasts here. I haven't actually done any coloring on this tablet, mm -hmm. so yeah, I'm not used to the values that it's showing me. Mm -hmm. It's awkward. Okay. We'll see if this works. Okay, I'm just hit all the whole layer and I'm going to slowly lighten up the, the body. I feel like it should be more yellow in color than actually red, no? Um, you were still working on the chestnut or done? Mm-hmm. Uh, now I'm working on the done. Because I was like, it's not, lo not looking like a chestnut anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm also looking at the chat. So just to see what they do. Mm -hmm. And they are also asking, well, they, they're they asking many things, but obviously we can't show everything. But um, someone says like a Tobiano maybe. Or someone earlier said like a Blaze or a little 
like the with the pinkish nose. Mm. Okay. Is it called a snip? Yeah, can do that. In English, I'm not, I, I know it in Dutch. You have words for it, but why does it almost look like a strawberry roan? <laughs> well, because they're still working on it. And now I can actually do it uh, two ways. Doing the leg stripes, I could either mask out the light layer that I have, or I could copy the whole horse and put it on the top. Probably not the same layer as the illusion. And I think I'm going to do it like that. Mm -hmm. um, just in case. It's getting so cold out here. I'm just going to grab my little blanket. Yeah, I already have a blanket. We had to turn the heating on. So for anyone who can see my little camera and my webcam, this is my little blanket with your taro bread full and mare, actually, Dominica. Yeah. It is so soft and so <laughs> nice. Can I have one? I can never have too many blankets. <laughs> <laughs> My dog Mochi also loved this one. It was so comfortable and so soft. And like, I just love this one. <laughs> So everyone in chat goes crazy with like, oh, blankets. Yes. <laughs> it is so soft. Oh, and also for Chatka, she's already here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think she, she probably hasn't followed anything yet because the stream started for her at 7 a.m., I think. Uh, <laughs> but basically... Just for chat cat, you can join in later. We still have Hester to go as well. It has been a crazy ride and my technology was crazy. The internet kept failing and for the past hour, it's been kind of okay, right? It's not really that bad. So um, for now, it's it, Dominica is still drawing the or drawing, you're coloring the Shetland pony. And we have a chestnut already. So you're now working on a red dun. The dun. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm actually, oh. I actually have to, well, I don't know if I should fix those uh, stripes because they're not very uh, polished. Yeah, yeah but it's just, just go to it's yeah. for now it's just like a quick version because otherwise you know we we can't really spend hours um i think that would be a good one for next time that we can just record the entire process and do like a speed paint video because then mm -hmm. you can really show everything and make it perfect but i think if we do this right now then it will probably take a little bit too long for some yeah. people, it started at 8 a.m. And then we have Hobie, who says, like, it's already almost 2 a.m. for me. <laughs> so it's, like, super late. I made my horse pink for a little bit, but don't worry. It's not going to last. Just make a little... <laughs> pink nose. You can actually make it a little bit more mm, orange than pink. I think for me on my screen, it still looks fairly white. E yes, it does. Oh, now there you go. Yes, that's pink. Yep, that's pink, right? And it is so cute. The last thing for. <laughs> the last thing for the down, I think, would be to make... Uh, I could make the mane a little bit lighter on the... Um, closer to the roots, the mane and the tail. Oh, yeah, that's what you told me about last time, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of fun doing the, the mane and the tail. And you have to put two or more colors in there. <laughs> Definitely challenging. Okay. Now let's 
like that and oh, let's try to put some of that there I look super comfy in my <laughs> in my in my blanket I'm just watching in uh, OBS like what the videos look looks like currently and it seems like so snug <laughs> with a <the> blanket <laughs> but it's because the so I ordered this shirt I'm not sure if everyone can see it properly so this is a t-shirt with a trackener um, and it's just a t-shirt and I had this really lovely uh, sweatshirt as well but that one was definitely to how do you say it pink for my skin tone <laughs> it doesn't really look that good so i decided to just do it a little bit differently and just wear this t-shirt but then again today it's pretty cold and my heater apparently doesn't want to turn on right now probably because in the living room it might be warm and cozy um, and i am not in the living room i am in one of my bedrooms so but I have this little lovely blanket, so I'm glad I ordered one. I can show it a little bit better, maybe. I can show it later in full screen. But I noticed that Chutcat was also saying that she would love to have one. I totally forgot because her background is on this one. Let me see if I can... Uh, this way, I think. My microphone is in the way. Microphone, go away, please. Okay. Let's see. So. Where's the butt? This is the butt. It's too big. <laughs> this thing oh, is it's just strawberry. Done. Okay. I think it's looking very cute. I still have to see it on the other screen to see if it's not too dark or too light or too orange. Uh, it's going to be a challenge color. <laughs> because I used to do that work on my old monitor, which I was already used to. And we know how it looked like. But now, not only I have the tablet, I also have another mm -hmm. monitor. So I don't know colors anymore. <laughs> have you ever tried like a spider, which is like, not a real spider, but a spider, the... Oh gosh, how do you say this? Um... I don't know the word. Tool? Yeah, the calibration tool. Like, I remember that we had one for Tamara, who calibrated her screen, and that definitely helped with that. I will definitely need to. Um, yeah, so you, you can actually send it to me. Uh, because it's it's online program, or is it actually physical thing? No, it's like a tiny device that you have to buy. And then uh, connect, you have to connect okay, it. Send. I think you have to connect it to your screen. And then it will check the current daylight settings, I think, like in your room versus your screen settings. And then it will calibrate the screen to show up um, properly. Yeah, I'll need to get one like that for sure. Oh. I don't for... know how I've managed to, to work without it for so many years. But I think the time has, has come. I'm not sure what's happening right now. So I hear your voice properly, but suddenly I keep hearing this cracky sound behind it. So if people uh, see me looking at my screen or sound stuff weirdly, it's because the sound is <laughs> being weird. <laughs> and someone says that your voice is so gentle. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's maybe nice well, to know for to the do... future. Mm -hmm. I plan to do some videos and streams on my own eventually, so... Uh, well, I'll have to hear my own voice for the first <laughs> time. <laughs> oh, you have never heard it yet? Mm -mm, no. 
Uh, it's usually something people try I mean, to true. avoid. <laughs> Maybe years ago, but I don't even remember when. On what mm -hmm. occasion, like maybe 10 years ago or 15, <laughs> but I don't really listen to my voice. Yeah, I mean, most people don't really want to listen to their own voices. And if I hear myself, <laughs> I feel like I always sound like a dude. I don't know why. I just have the feeling that I sound like a boy. That is like quite no. low. No. But, um... no, no, no. <laughs> No, but it's it's well, fine. I always feel like uh, I'm sounding very high. My voice is much much higher than what I imagine. Oh, your voice, you mean? I was like, what is mm -hmm. high? But you mean your voice, yeah. yeah. My voice, yeah. No, I think it sounds perfect. Just like your voice should sound like. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> That's good to hear. Let's see. Uh, okay. Um, oh, someone um, asks if you have pets. Pets? Mm hmm You have cats, um, right? Yes, I actually I I had cats in my family home. Right now I moved to an apartment, but yes, we have currently five cats. <laughs> five cats, and we have two horses. But I don't know. It's kind of hard to refer to them as pets. Maybe just let's stop on the cats. Did you just say that you had five cats in your family home and two horses? Yep. Okay. okay the horses no, are just, not just, in just. Home. No, <laughs> no, I understand. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I meant like five cats. Okay, I think Aura will be happy to hear. She is like a cat lover. She would love to live there. I'm sure. Oh yeah. And we're getting all the cats from the neighborhood, like, roaming <laughs> around, because my gran always feeds them. Uh -huh. <laughs> and recently we actually had a cat bring her kittens to us, and she just left them after a few weeks, and we had to do something with them. Uh, so we found home for two of them. But one is still there because she just won't let us catch her. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so you can say we have six cats. <laughs> oh, someone said like crazy. the cra the crazy cat lady starter kit. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I, I don't think that's a starter kit. That's convenient <laughs> already. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, now I notice. I do say it a lot. <laughs> it's just because I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Anyhow, you wanted to ask me what uh, you needed do... to draw, right? Yes. Should we do another color? Or I heard someone say... I can keep working. Maybe like a Tobiano? Because I feel like I've seen okay. that one a few times in the chat. Or also okay. a few people are, are talking about just the simple white markings, like a few socks. That might mm -hmm. also be cute. Okay, we could, we could do that. Although for that, I will need the white layer, which is very tricky to prepare. You know, with white, it's um, tricky to get the, the shadows and the lightnings right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was actually it's thinking maybe for the final version we might need to adjust the grayscale a little bit to give it a little bit more de mm -hmm. depth in the darker yeah. areas at least. Because I think that it might be tricky, but <laughs> we will see how far we can get. Definitely, it's uh, something I definitely would like to do and i'm saying definitely a lot right now but that's okay <laughs> uh, we i will we will fix that grayscale eventually before coloring i see some things that should be done before we go to color and yep you said you talked about it it's mm -hmm. like that need to have everything perfect, but it's also impossibility in a way. Yeah, I, just, definitely. I can't make everything perfect. 
but until we get to coloring, I, I get to <laughs> fix it as many times as I want. Yeah, but I think one of the things we've learned from doing um, all the artwork and the coloring, I think the things we've learned is that we need to make, um, so the moment we think a grayscale is done, we need to make mm -hmm. a white layer, we need to make a black layer, and we need to make a, like a cremello or something, like mm -hmm. a color like that. And then make sure that at least the white looks like white when it's put on a cremello. Oh, yeah. Because I think that's one of the things we've definitely learned from the past, is that I think it happened with the Lusitano, that the gray layers looked, or white layers looked like gray on the cremello, whereas uh, on any other color it actually looks fine and we were just some brown bees too I yeah remember. i had to go in and fix brown bees uh, kind of last minute because when i saw those to be on so my god i messed it up so much mm -hmm. yeah let's see so someone asks if this is the final version in terms of anatomy um mm. Well, <laughs> if they're no. asking, if they're asking, it's usually because they see something. <laughs> well, if you see something, please tell me. <laughs> because as I said before, even um, right before we go to coloring, I'm going to double check everything that's... Well, I'm going to check every girl before we color it. So yeah, it it was tricky because for today we just had to pick one and there were a few that still had. This was the one that, that needed the least changing, I think. It was the yeah. other ones had a few more difficulties. Yep, going through my old grayscale was painful. <laughs> to say the least. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Especially the ones that I did at the very beginning. Like year and a half ago, mm -hmm. it, it was hard. It was tough. All right, so we gave her a small salt. Nice. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I'm ready to go for the Tobiano though, because that white still looks vicious. <laughs> It looks a bit gray, bluish on my yes. screen. Yes. That... <laughs> uh, for that, the, the whole white color needs uh, quite a bit of work before it can be put on the piano and then mm -hmm. Palooza and then Kings. So. Oh, I see. Someone says that they feel like the neck, shoulder and belly part is a little bit strange. I feel uh -huh. like maybe the line Possibly. in the neck area, especially the part at the top, may be a bit too thick. Like now, uh -huh. I think the way the mane is currently shown is actually usually how you see um, an overweight pony. You know that uh -huh. that, the, that the neck that you know that neck area that connects to the mane that is like very thick uh -huh. and a little bit wobbly. But yeah, um, that fat crest. Yeah, but I feel like Usually other than that. Yeah, but I think in comparison with our previous Shetland pony, I'm not sure if you have one, but that one was very different. I, I do. If you want to see it, I think I yeah, do. definitely. Uh, I think that's something that is um, always interesting to to compare with what we started with and then see what the version is right now. Uh, yeah. Uh... There she is. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like that. Because the expression that she currently has is way different than our old one. And this is the old one. Yeah, that's the old one. So I think we can all agree that the new version is even, like, muchly improved already. Compared to... I also uh, felt like this one is a little bit of death in the eyes. <laughs> like... The way those <laughs> eyes are created are a little bit like a death stare. <laughs> the darkness is staring into you. Yeah. Uh, before before we call the grayscales finish, I, I really would like to gather some more references mm -hmm. all over and 
like go over with you and the others what what can be changed and improved mm -hmm. so yeah it's it's not final and anything you see on my instagram also is not final besides thoroughbred and the fin horse which are already either done or in coloring phase mm -hmm. so that's that yeah exactly <laughs> Everyone's like, if whoa, comments, <laughs> <laughs> like the difference. <laughs> yeah, but we will definitely make sure to look over this one um, for all the grayscales, really. Usually before we start coloring, we take one last check, one last look, because I think if you look back at um, the way we work, it is usually Julian makes a line art and then well, currently it's Dominica who is grayscaling, but in the past we had another artist who was called uh, Soy2, I think. It's hard to pronounce for me. But um, she drew them in the past, and but she stuck really with the line art that Julalyn drew, which, how do you say this? Julalyn is uh, usually, you know, drawing more loose. And it's like a sketch that you need to take as um, a suggestion to draw the post like this more as a reference. And not really, <laughs> she hasn't really looked at the correct anatomy yet. It is more about what kind of pose we want to show for that breed rather than the perfect um, line art. So then when that is finished then so too usually follow the lines exactly so the, the horses came out really really wobbly sometimes and um then at some point we found dominica who is now drawing our gray scales and then she used the old gray scales and i think in this case you created an entire new gray scale right or did you still use the old one as well um at first i usually take the old grayscale and just start color it and mm -hmm. yeah. I think I lost you for a little bit. Let's see. I'm not hearing your sound anymore currently. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Much better. So when did you lose me? <laughs> the moment you started talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so again, uh, start coloring over it. Uh, it's easier for me than to start from scratch. Um, and yeah, I usually just take a very thick and strong brush and go over it as much as I can, cut mm -hmm. out the legs, move them around a little bit. And it's it's much faster than me, than starting from nothing. Yeah, exactly. I can even imagine. If I change, even even if I change almost everything, mm -hmm. then it's, just, well, it's faster. Yeah, I can definitely get that. But then, um, so then you draw on top of it, and then usually the grayscale gets put. You know, it's put aside for a little bit because usually if we, um, how do you say this? If we would immediately go and start coloring, then I can assure you the moment we would be done coloring, we would look at it and then suddenly be like, oh, but we did not notice <laughs> this part or we didn't see that part. So usually the grayscale is still waiting for us. <laughs> And just mm -hmm. like a fine wine, <laughs> waiting for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so then if we wait a little while and then we continue on another breed and then we go back to the Shetland Pony, um, we will see new stuff. So then we will make sure yes, but... to make an edit. Yes, but uh, at that point it's much easier and much faster to fix. Get back, please. Come on, internet, you can do it. Okay, I think I'm back. Um, and can you still hear me? Probably, yes, right? And now I can hear, yeah, now I can hear you. Okay, that's good. 
let's see. Um, no, it's just my internet connection again. <laughs> But um, no, what I wanted to say is that Hester has actually been here in my living room. Um, so initially we wanted to do like a big session with everyone together. But unfortunately, we all know, you know, what happens this year. So it wasn't really possible to get everyone uh, in the same room. And that's kind of why we thought, let's do a live stream. Um, but I just quickly want to try and see if it works, if we can Hester can get Hester to join us because then again, she's also on the same internet. So I'm kind of wondering <laughs> if the system will even hold, um, if she also will be streaming. And I think due to obvious reasons, she cannot be with me in the same room. Um, I also feel like we need to set a good example. And especially in the Netherlands, we have to stay away for at least one and a half meters. And it, I mean, I could bring Hester in here and go sit on the couch, but then if I talk, no one can hear me, uh, I think. So we're just going to test it out and see how that works. So let me just see if Hester can join us. Can you join us? If everything breaks, then <laughs> Hester will be uh, leaving for today. <laughs> And then we unfortunately cannot sh show her at the same time. But let's see how our internet holds. So Dominica, I'm just gonna put you on hold for a little bit and see if Hester's stream is working. Sure, but no problem. Thank you for showing us your coloring skills. Thank you. Let's see. Hester, if you talk, can we hear you? Hi. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, hi, okay. guys. Let me see, because you are super loud for me. I'm not sure if you could maybe put your microphone a little bit further away. Oh, or... Okay. Is this better? Yes. The other one okay. was very, very loud. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Um, let me try to share my screen again. I just hope my internet doesn't break again. Um, Let me see. Got it. I'm not sure. Do you see it? I see the Icelandic horse. Yeah. Cool. Let me just see where my chat went. This is where my chat went. And then I think the internet is holding. Oh, I see. I still For have to. Me it still is. <laughs> yeah. Let me just. I already switched to you, and I forgot to update the screen. So let me quickly do that, so that we have your name instead of Dominica when you are working. In the meantime, I can ask in the chat. Um, what we wanted to do today with Hester is do some white markings or white patterns and then um, basically call a breed, throw us something and Hester will draw it for you. <laughs> or at least try. Yeah, I can do any breed. <laughs> I'll try to draw it. <laughs> Oh, also Hester, I think if you go to your Discord settings, you should be able to right click on your own name and maybe slow down the your sound a little bit because sometimes it's still very loud. Right click and then I still put it away a little bit further. Maybe it depends a little bit on what's happening. I put that mic is it better now? For me it is. I'm not sure what everyone else uh, hears. Let me put this like normal. I think that would be... Oh, someone says, no, not quieter. It's right. <laughs> it's about right. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe okay. <laughs> Maybe in between. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, they... I'll... No, they I'll say... Back, so hopefully hear me again now then maybe it doesn't matter if <laughs> if i put down the volume in discord i think they cannot I hear the difference 
Yeah, but I feel like they don't hear the difference um, if I turn it down on my Discord. So I think if you just put it back like you had earlier, when I said it was loud, then for them it sounds all right, I think. Otherwise, we'll see. It. I hope everyone can confirm if the sound is now <laughs> all right, at least. Let me see. So I see a lot of stuff in the chat. I see a Rabicano pattern. I see something with dapples, leopard spots. Leopard is quite hard. I think that would be a better one for Dominica, probably, um, to give an example. Um, something with Sabino. Um, let's see. I can grab another breed. I just throw which one yet. Um, maybe I can grab the throw red and do something with apples there. Oh, I think that's fine. Definitely. I think a lot of people already mentioned that they love the thoroughbred. <laughs> Yeah, I read that. So maybe I can make like a buckskin and then make it a silky buckskin. <laughs> and maybe add some white to it. I would say just go for I'll it. Just, I'll give it a go, yeah. Let's see. I still have to switch the screen, I see, to your name. <laughs> I, I totally got caught, <laughs> caught up in everything that I forgot. <laughs> People may notice that I actually work a little bit different than Dominica, but I think that's nice to see, right? Mm -hmm. That was also kind of the point why I wanted to show the both of you, because both of you work <laughs> in a different way. I mean, there are more ways yeah. to roam than just one. Oh, and you have Photoshop in Dutch, right? Or do you have it in English? Yeah, it's Dutch and I don't know how to get it back to English, so... <laughs> And I think... Uh, I'm not sure what is happening all the time though. The yellow, but... Like if you are doing, making some changes, yeah, I see the entire background like flip. Really? It's like... Like uh, it, switch, I swi it switches between only the horse and... No, it shows the yeah, I don't know how to fix that, to be honest. <laughs> Let's just hope it stays like this and doesn't get any worse. Really, uh, I think I've picked a way too orange horse for this, but uh, hopefully <laughs> it's gonna work out. <laughs> we'll just try. It's always difficult when people are also watching, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so let me see. I will transition to your name. Yay. There it is. <laughs> Finally. Okay. I'm gonna just gonna focus on the mane and tail first, because when I make them black for a buckskin, it'll look more like a buckskin than it is now. So otherwise I'm gonna mess up the body. And we do not want that. Okay. So I made the domain darker now, but I think I'm gonna start over on this bit, on the body, because <laughs> mm -hmm. I kind of messed that up. Let's see. So usually when I go to a lighter shade of a coat, I just use white and then I make it, um, I change the opacity. Do something that hopefully works, and otherwise I just do it again until it does work. Mm -hmm. but I think I got something that looks a little bit like a buckskin now, almost. And for black parts and stuff, I just duplicate the whole base again. Mm -hmm. 
and then it does this stupid thing. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a clipping mask in English or... Yeah, it, it just removes it again when I duplicate the layer underneath it. <laughs> Every time. I think it's because in the box on the left side you have the color black selected and you need to switch it with the white one. Because black is always um, yeah, like no removing <laughs> removing the mask uh, or everything that's in the mask. Yeah, the mask is still there, but it's like, um, oh, I forgot the setting. Uh, please hold on, internet. <laughs> if you go out, I go out as well. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> we both go out with a big bang. <laughs> So let's see. In the meantime, while you're working, um, let's talk about how you got here. I think that might be interesting yeah. to know as well. Because um, I, I remember that you volunteered. Yeah, I think it was about like two years ago or something. And then I had this old friend from another horse game and well, I didn't really, I didn't speak to her for like two years maybe. And then I met her again on Horse Reality. And she um, said that she was, uh, she was into coloring and stuff. And she wanted to volunteer for you guys. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I've got time. Maybe I can just try it. And hopefully it's good enough. So I got <laughs> some, uh, I think Tamara helped me with it, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think I she helps you with patterns. it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then, well, I worked for a volunteer for like, um, I think half a year, maybe a little bit shorter. I'm not sure anymore. And then, um, you guys were really lacking someone who could color because like all the volunteers did, um, uh, white markings and not really coloring. So mm -hmm. I just tried that and then. I got a message from you if I wanted to work with you guys. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, think it was really like it. I think that if I remember correctly, then um, you were one of the volunteers that was quite reliable in a way that. Oh, I see, I see the people hear me super loud. Maybe if I just put my microphone a little bit further away, then I'm, I'm really not sure. I don't I don't really want to touch all the settings again. So because at least we're having sound right now and I will do some more testing um, next time um, for a next okay. stream. So I'm sorry for all the others, but I remember that with our volunteers, well, currently we don't, we no longer do have volunteers and we're no longer working with them because the issue that we had is that if you're volunteering, you of course do this in your spare time. And if you do it in your spare mm -hmm. time, then, you know, you rely on the weekends, um, that you have time left or the evenings that you would like to draw something or maybe in the holidays and what we noticed is that a lot of people got occupied with work or with school and obviously those things have priority um don't get me wrong there <laughs> but the thing is with a game like this and especially with the current community that we have is that people start expecting things um and well, basically, you know, if I say for you, Hester, that if you're a volunteer and I ask you to like, oh, could you do all the colors for the thoroughbreds? And then there are like four months of nothing, then, <laughs> you know, it would be, it's, it, it would, it's really hard for us um, in that sense to work with volunteers. And in the beginning, I think it was fine. It's also why we mostly went with the white patterns like markings and such because then they don't have to do the coloring the white layer is already co correct because we give them the correct layer and then they only had to make the the shapes in the white layer basically or white layers which is a difference i think with the coloring itself 
Um, and at some point, I think we usually started using those as extras so that if players made white markings, then any marking that would be added was nice um, or pattern. But we also noticed that a lot of times with volunteers, we had to yeah, communicate really well in order to get the right pattern. Like it's really hard to make something look realistically. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is really difficult. And it, it is sometimes very hard to communicate this over like a chat, like typing. I feel like talking is already easier, but then you also have the trouble sometimes with language. Um, so that is definitely an issue sometimes. And for me with Hester, it was really easy because we're both Dutch. So then if there is something wrong, then you can at least communicate in your own language. And I think also for Tamara, because she could help you out yeah. much easier. I mean, she does know English very well, but it was much easier to be able to talk in Dutch than um, in English yeah, at least. And see each other in person because yeah. Uh, before Corona, of course, <laughs> I used to come to your office like once a month, mm -hmm. and then we could just talk things through or show me. Uh, Tamara could show me what I had to do if I got lost or something. Yeah, it was really much easier that way. Yeah, exactly. And then and I, I think I never, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and you can go first. <laughs> oh. I just wanted to say, like, at some point, um, you know, you just practice a lot and then you know better what to look at. Mm -hmm. Everyone is, like, gasping yeah. at your at your dapples. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard right now because I'm using, like, um, I'm using my tablet and I've got the double screen. So I've got a really small place I can move my pencil at. Otherwise, oh. it's... They uh, tend to be like a bit more oval shaped than usual <laughs> because the white is bigger than the yeah the height, the, sc the screen is very big yeah and why oh yeah that's what you mean yeah the screen is very wide it's like sixteen to nine I think whereas yeah, the I'm tablet like, is four to three probably yeah. <laughs> Oh, someone also asks, um, have you ever thought of not quite having volunteers, but for example, putting a grayscale up so that random people can practice? Actually, we have not because, oh, someone already mentioned, it is super easy to steal grayscales. And one of the things that we already stumbled upon is that people are stealing our artwork and putting them on their own yeah, merchandise kind of stuff, um, which is already, I mean, for me, it's a little bit stupid <laughs> because, oh, someone says that they heard something in the background. I'm not entirely sure what they heard. In my area, I don't really have anything, but maybe Hester is in my living room and I think my boyfriend... I hear anything, so I, no? I hear. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened then. But um, anyway, oh, wait, but it was like 20 seconds ago, probably. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, Maybe yeah. But then to... for them, you know, you have the delay. <laughs> so <laughs> there is a lot of delay um, between what we say and when YouTube sees it. But yeah, we don't really want to put our gray scales online. We already had that whenever a volunteer was drawing for us, they had to sign an NDA that they needed to keep our art um, only for themselves. And that when they would quit being a volunteer, they had to delete everything. Like they needed to upload it to our systems first and then um, delete it from their own computers. Because it is just very easy to steal artwork and... For us, it feels very unfair because we have put so much love and work in those horses that it just, it honestly pains my heart sometimes that people can just take other people's stuff so easily. Because for me, I've been working on this game for almost 10 years already. And then just having someone else taking your 
the art that, I mean, I didn't draw it myself. I requested it from my artists, but still they drew it for me because I asked. So if I hadn't, it had never happened in the first place. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, for me, it is very painful that a lot of people just steal it so easily. And the artists themselves, they put in a lot of work already. And especially for our artists, everyone that I, that, that works for us is actually making their art with a commercial license, which means that they make the artwork for Horse Reality and that I am allowed to use the artwork for anything. Um, but it's, the reason you do this is, first of all, you will need to pay the original artist more money. So I need to pay extra for someone in order to, you know, use it myself for, for, for example, merchandise or posters or in the game or whatever I want to use it for. And um, usually if you ask something as a personal art piece, you can pay less. But then this is also with the exception that you are only using it for yourself and maybe hanging it on your wall at home or having it, um, I don't know, just print this thoroughbred on a pillow <laughs> and have it for your own uh, couch to put on. But basically, um, it's just really a thing that is going on in the art industry lately. And also in the gaming industry, you see more often that people just steal concepts of people and artwork and all those kinds of things. So I think this is also a good reminder for our players that are currently watching or for anyone who watches this video is that if you find something on Google, it is not yours to take. You can use it maybe as a reference for something that you are making by yourself, but then make it by yourself and not just copy and draw a line over it and just recreate the exact same thing because then it's not really uh, creating anymore. And then it's like you're tracing the same exact piece of art, <laughs> uh, which is also not okay but you really need to make sure that there is quite a big difference between art uh, that you create and the things you find on Google. And if you can take it, then you need to make sure that you look at the credits or I think Google is also trying to warn you more about it, that you can't just take stuff from other people anymore. And that you need to make sure that you look at the copyright license that it has. But it really depends, I think, on what kind of website you're at or because there are nowadays also a lot of um, like stock art areas, but there there definitely needs to be a big inspiration. Uh, big inspiration. <laughs> you just need to take your inspiration of the original artworks and not just copy paste it. Um, and in our case, our only exception is that you can take the images of our website to make your own horse banners for in game, for example, or maybe. Um, you know, people make these stud cards and that kind of stuff. So basically you can do that, but then still make sure to add our copyright on top of it. Just add our logo or add like the copyright sign and the name Horse Reality so that people, if they see it, that they know that where they have to go. So they would see Horse Reality. Hmm, what is that? Like this horse looks nice. And then you type it in Google and then you will find us. So then it's, you know, tracing back to our... Um, website at least. So I just wanted to quickly mention this because I feel like it's quite an important issue that is happening in the art industry all the time. Um, I think in the meantime, <laughs> Hester is just continuing to draw <laughs> while I'm <laughs> blabbing about all the copyright issues and such. <laughs> but, um, and I think for any aspiring artists maybe, and I'm not sure if Julalyn does it, there are a few artists I know who just put uh, watermarks on top of their artwork. So, or their signature or some kind of copyright sign. And usually a watermark is not really pretty, but at the same time, you know, if someone at least copies it, then it has this big watermark on top of it. So it's not as pretty. So usually people stay away more often. And if you put only a signature, then sometimes it is so small that they will just edit it out or they just still copy the entire thing. And then your signature is on this, this crappy item that is being sold uh, through a Redbubble account or something. 
So there is that. Um, yeah, so Hester is r doing this in real time. This is not being recorded. She's, she's in my living room. Let me see. Can you put your yeah, webcam? Can, can you turn on your webcam maybe? Uh, yeah. Then you, they can see that you are... Let me see. I think I need to do it like this. If you guys hear a little noise now, it's Mochi. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, so Mochi's in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's wagging her tail, okay. I think. <laughs> no, she uh, kind of got stuck in a wire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, but uh, she's back now. She's gone. <laughs> Let me see if this is visible. I think I need to move the screen a little bit more to the side. Like this. So Hester also has the other banner because she's in my living room. So obviously I could just put up those banners. <laughs> <laughs> so Hester was just continuing to work on the on that thingy. In the meantime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I see that a lot of people say that they do put a watermark or something on their artwork. Um, well, obviously for us, you know, if we would do this in the game, it would look very weird. <laughs> so that's why we haven't done it. But Hester is currently working on the thoroughbred. And I think the original file is like 3000 pixels wide. Whereas I think the in-game version... Yeah, right? So the in-game version is yeah. way smaller. I think the in-game version is like, I think we uploaded around 800 pixels, but it is automatically resized to 600 or 550 maybe, um, which is for multiple reasons. Like you want a website that loads fast and not slow. So the smaller the images are, the faster it loads everything. But you also still want to keep the nice quality <laughs> it's so funny to see like everyone is still here like Dominica, Julian, like everyone's still talking in chat so it's very nice to see that everyone is still here so what are you drawing actually Hester? yeah I'm trying to make an uh, overall, a uh, frame overall because well the uh, TVs have that they I think they don't have splash, so that's the blue eyes for the overall. And uh, it's a buckskin suit, but I think most people already noticed that. <laughs> oh, someone is correcting you, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, I Overo. can't see the, I can't yeah. see the chat right now. So no. to say. <laughs> I think it's Overo. Overall, That's Overo. probably yeah, it's right. Just... I'm <laughs> I just say something and then I hope it's right. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so Overo. <laughs> Someone says blue eyes. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's just difficult, you know. There are so many languages and things. I'm also still hearing... I think Aura asked me that I should show Mochi in the, in the stream. Oh, she probably also is hungry. It's like <laughs> five thirty. She usually eats around this time. Maybe that's what that was she all the noise. Maybe. Eat. Yeah, maybe she thought uh, if I just uh, annoy you, then uh, you can go give me food or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think your webcam froze. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, let's see. I think. Oh. I'll... Oh, I'm I, still here. <laughs> yeah, you're still here, but I, I accidentally clicked on your webcam thingy and then it became super big. Yeah. So I was quickly uh, putting you back. Yeah, so one thing I would like to address at the same time, since we're working on the thoroughbred, um, many people ask, when will they be here? Um, mm -hmm. Which I think is a good one to address in the meantime. Basically, 
they first have to wait until our transfer to V2 is done, which is something I will probably address during the um, Q&A later. Um, originally, we would be quitting in about 20 minutes, but I will just move everything forward a bit. Um, Chatcat is also still here later for finishing our background. Um, and I still have some surprise to reveal, which maybe some of you already have a little bit of an idea about. Um, but basically, oh, so Hester, your webcam is totally failing for me right now. So maybe we can just turn it off because it's not working anymore. I'll turn it off as well. Maybe <laughs> mine gets quicker. But uh, basically, we are working on V2, which is new code, uh, is a new coding framework. And currently all our time is put towards that. And for the thoroughbreds, because they have a lot of white markings um, or white spotting actually. So this might be confusing for many of you. You have dominant white, which is the same as white spotting. Um, it is, and there was one other name, I think there were three names. It's also Sabino. Um, basically, I think one of the first Sabino variations that were found was Sabino one. And at some point they found many other white mutations, which then were translated into something called dominant white. And then they found more. And then just at some point they started to call it white spotting. It's all the same. Basically they are kind of like white mutations. And um, yeah, I'm not really, I'm, I'm not that good with this kind of thing. So, <laughs> I'm not a researcher. It's hard for me to explain in the correct way, but the, all the white spotting variations are on the kit gene, if I say it correctly. So you have Tobiano, Subino one, Roan, and then you have like W one, two, three, four, five, six, till I thought 27, but I heard recently, I think we already got into 31 or something, um, because they keep finding new muta mut mutations. And this is something that we have, uh, we have put it in the system so we can create the genes, but we haven't added this to our breeding system yet. So for example, if you would have a horse with uh, W27, then and you would try to breed it, then the breeding would not work because the system would be like, well, um, I get a W27, but uh, 27, Huh? It doesn't exist and I can't find the code and what do I do? <laughs> so we really need to add it in and um, well, we can't do that before V2 transfer is done. So it's all V2, V2, V2 and it is super annoying, but it is something that has to be done. Um, so we just hope that we can get it done sooner or later. Um, but be, because of her birthday, we put in some extra effort and we worked on V2 a lot. So I think that was really nice, um, that we, yeah, we had some nice progress and made some good changes, but it's still not finished. And many people ask me how many pages do we still have to go through? And there are still quite a lot because we still have all the stores. Um, Almost anything I think that's on the city map, um, the user profile settings, then the horse profiles, horse settings, breeding, I think pretty much anything that is directly related to the horses is a little bit cray cray. And we don't know yet when V2 is finished. So basically what we want to do is um we are we have been putting more funding towards the coding area but the thing is i had put aside um funding for the code really and it's just really expensive so the only way to get it done sooner is honestly only if you buy more from us <laughs> which sounds like super i don't know for me it sounds like begging but it is honestly the truth. Like the more money that comes in through the game, the more we can work on V2 and the faster we can finish it really. 
Um, so yeah, that's that, I guess. Not really that interesting stuff, but I don't know. It's better to explain, I guess. Um, let me see. So for Hester, you are doing many things, I guess. We are also adding Rubicano. Yeah, well, yeah. Doing something while you were talking, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, fine. It's, uh, I'm, really miss I'm really missing my brushes because I have like two laptops and this one doesn't have my usual brush bag. So mm -hmm. Rubicano is a little bit hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, I think something. I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> something fell in the living room. <laughs> oh, I love those comments. They're still laughing over here. <laughs> yeah. So it probably was Mochi. I will get her in here yeah, later. I can hear her to uh, uh. walking, not talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so you were talking about, you were working on frame and then Rubicano, we have white markings on the legs. <laughs> yeah, because uh, white markings are not for frame, they are just white markings. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one over here, the little frame part on the hip, mm -hmm. looks like a dolphin in case you haven't noticed yet. <laughs> Like the... actually on accident, but I kind of like it, so... <laughs> the moment you said it, I thought, like, it looks like a dolphin, and then you said, yeah. it's a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty funny, yeah. too. Yeah, so that one looks really nice. It, it really sounds like they broke something. Yeah, they're I breaking, think so They're breaking my precious plates. <laughs> And I'm so happy with those. Because <laughs> I just bought these. Um, I think they were from Tokyo Design Studio. They had this huge Black Friday sale last year, I think. So I felt like it was finally time to get rid of my, you know, student IKEA stuff. <laughs> and now I was like, yay, with this big sale, I can finally get some adult um, utensils and plates and that kind of stuff but then they're probably breaking it so yeah i think so I'll luckily let you know in, uh, <laughs> <end afterwards. laughs> luckily it will be black friday next month so maybe i can order some new stuff then <laughs> but i mean yeah that's what you have with um dogs and boyfriends who just keep breaking stuff <laughs> he always lets like things slip through his fingers so yeah, I should have known. Uh, let's see, I'm just missing the tail right now, the last part. Mm -hmm. I can I can keep going for hours on that Rubicano, but we don't have time for that, so I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, yeah, I, think I, <laughs> sometimes I suddenly go quiet, but then I'm like, oh, someone said something to me in Discord. Oh, someone said something to me in chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me zoom out for a moment. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't really zoom out enough, I think. I just go to 40. <laughs> someone says Butterfinger boyfriend. I totally read that in a very different way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh lord. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, cool. Well, let's see. I'm just gonna see if Chatcat is maybe finished. So I see that Dominica is still also um, in our chat. I think we probably need to continue with someone else because it's already, you know, almost 6 p.m. And I mean, everything will be moved up for a little bit. I think I will do Chatcat first and then end with the Q&A and the finale with Aura. Um, I don't know what else to add anymore, so... <laughs> yeah, I think this one looks fine. 
I will just add ask um, if chat cat was done with uh, <laughs> with breakfast yet. <laughs> Because otherwise, maybe I'll do the Q&A now with Aura. Because um, I haven't really seen Chatcat comment yet. So I wonder if she's eating breakfast or that I'll go with Chatcat. While we wait, wait something while we were waiting for uh, the issues. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> In case uh, people love Icelandic horses. I think there are many who do. It's just so annoying that the live stream is so much slower than this. <laughs> oh, so it's a WNO Icelandic. Oops. I almost. Uh, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, Toby, Toby. <laughs> yeah, someone else also <laughs> says, like, QA, please. Yeah, I think that we can do this because I feel like Chatka is probably still eating her breakfast. So then I think we will move up with Aura first and then do um, Chatka after that. So again, I'd like to thank you both for being here. I'm sorry that it got a little bit shorter than I hoped. I was hoping to have Dominica and Hester here for a little bit longer, but due to all the technical issues in the beginning, we all had to move up a little bit. And I feel like otherwise the stream will take way too much time um, since I'm already streaming now for about four hours, four and a half really, because I actually started a little bit early. So let's see. So if Aura would join me, that would be lovely. Oh, I'm done with breakfast, but I can wait. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. If Aura is here. <laughs> Maybe Aura. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's loud. Uh, hi, does it work already? So, yes, I'm just putting you down on my end for a little bit. Okay. Because you sounded okay. super loud for me. <laughs> Let me see. I should also probably switch my screen again. I will transition to my own full screen. Full full screen area, geez, my words. Um, and I'm going to find or create a different scene again because I had everything prepared in OBS in the other one. But I mean, I had to make some changes. So I'm just gonna make a quick scene for you to join in. Um, yes, yeah, so maybe you can do a short introduction. Um, because I think many people have seen you around the chat, meanwhile, but no one has heard you yet. <laughs> True. Um, so I'm live now, right? Sorry, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh yeah, everyone says that, that you seem to be very loud for them. Let me see. Okay, still very loud. Hi. Yeah. My mic is not that good. <laughs> Let me see. I put the sound down for you a little bit. Okay. So how is this when I talk like this? Hello. I'll have to wait until Words. they respond. <laughs> Words, sentences. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. That takes a really long time. Yeah. It, it is like 30, wow. I think 30 seconds to a minute or something. It is very behind basically wow i need to get adjusted because i've been in this listening role for the last four hours and now i gotta talk <laughs> <laughs> let's see i will put i will put it down okay, slightly better, more too low and just perfect that was a great selection oh sorry <laughs> someone says too low then i will put it back because i was 
switching some things up a little bit. Um, yeah, it's a little bit robotic. Yeah, that's what I had as well. It sounds a little bit robot-ish. Hmm. I'm not sure if you have like, any way. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to improve it. I can try talking slower, so maybe that's easier to understand with disturbances. At least um, I feel for me, if you keep talking like this, that I can follow you really well. Okay. Then I'll try my very best to... <laughs> Usually I speak very fast, so this is a challenge. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, okay. How to, how to start? Well, how did we two meet? How did you get to work here? Things like that? Um, I, uh, I don't know. I joined as a player in November last year. So I've been on the game for almost a year now, which is really, it, it feels so much shorter. Um, the time just flew by. And I don't know, I really liked the game and the, the vibe that I was getting from the team. And I, I kept checking the jobs page because I felt like it could be a nice place to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and then you actually had a community manager position, which is something I have work experience in and which I really love doing. And I couldn't believe how lucky I was. Uh, then I applied and here I am. Yeah. Well, I am well, still super happy that you wanted to join us as a community manager. It is so yeah, nice to have you around. Too. I'm... <laughs> Thank you. I'm also really happy to be around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it really feels like... How do you say this? Like I got a great sidekick now. I'm no longer alone. <laughs> Well, Tassie is also still here, but then she's usually more covering all the emails and the support. And mm -hmm. she was helping me mostly with um, news posts as well. But, yeah, um, very, like, but even I that like Tassie sometimes. And I, like, Tassie and I complement each other quite well. Yeah, exactly. Like, in our strengths and weaknesses and what we like to do. It's really, like, yeah, great working together. Works really well, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm in the meantime I'm working on the scene to add you to um or have you kind of in the background. Let me see. But it didn't really want to cooperate with me. This one, that one, that one transition. So this is better, mm -hmm. I think. Um are you also able to turn on your webcam or is that not possible right now? Because you are, <laughs> I'm not sure which area <laughs> you are currently. <laughs> um, is this possible? Let me see. Um, I'll just need a second. Mm -hmm. I would feel nervous talking English, someone says. I mean, that's what I had too. And <laughs> I feel like I always get confused with words. Yay! Wait a second. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to my kids. <laughs> Oh, I have you full screen no, now. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> no, I... I don't think so. Let me adjust my hair for a second. I was just sitting here alone in my kitchen. <laughs> I will just make it a little bit smaller for you that you're not that blown up. Let's put it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm kind of used to it. I'm already kind of used to it right now, but I mean, I can't imagine not everyone is as comfortable as I am. <laughs> no, I'm also not too comfortable. I, I usually know. get super 
laughing a lot because I get yeah. nervous a bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm also nervous or just, you know, it's, it's cold here. I've been listening. I've also been working a lot yesterday and I'm super tired, actually. <laughs> and um, you're super jealous of my blankie. I'm so jealous. I'm actually, I'm covered in a bed blanket, but I'm, <laughs> because I've been, yeah, I'm really, really freezing. Our heatings don't go up that much. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. <laughs> and the kitchen is currently the place where I do all my horse reality work from because mm -hmm. it has a nice table and good internet connection. So that's whenever I answer comments in the forum. This is where you can imagine me. I'm sitting here. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let me see, because um, I thought someone was asking something. But I feel like I lost it somewhere. Oh, there it is. And favorite Peter... breed. Yes. <laughs> the Arabians. I, I don't know. I just love them. Always have, always will. That's free. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so I think for anyone who is currently in our YouTube chat, um, I think we can take this as our Q&A time, right? Like originally we would reveal our last surprise at six or a little bit before six. But since everything got moved up a little bit, I feel like we can do the Q&A right now. And then I have Chatcat drawing her background and then I do the last reveal. Um, so I think it might be almost another hour, but I feel like this might be a bit too long for me. Um, but we'll just see how we can squeeze in everything. Because I'm also getting a little bit hungry. <laughs> I can't imagine. You've been talking for quite some time. Yeah, I'm good at talking though. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah, saying. So also maybe, yeah. <laughs> Also, maybe if players have any questions now, just start writing them in the comments because I collected questions all day, but actually most of like most of which I have on my list was already answered at some point in the live stream. So I don't have that much prepared or so. Yeah. <laughs> well, but maybe we can then go over it quickly for the people who are here now, at least. As long as my internet mm -hmm. keeps working. Let's see, because sometimes it be suddenly becomes super blurry again. Yeah. Okay, we're back. I think. Um, okay. Good. You ready? Mm hmm. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I think what most people asked us is something like, when will the companies come to the game? When will the thoroughbreds come to the game? Yeah. When will they, Delo? <laughs> yeah, you kind of collected them in one big answer or mm -hmm. question, actually. Um, yeah, so that is definitely a tough one. Um, so to keep it shorter than earlier, uh, we are still working on the transfer to V2. And how can I explain this more thoroughly is um, in short, we are transferring all the code that I wrote over the past few years into one new big framework. And this framework is just much safer in the first place. So that is definitely a big plus. It is also um, to speed up all the other features and all the other yeah, new things, things that have to be finished in the game. Um, so this has to be done first before we can finally start working on the companies. And I think I might have mentioned earlier as well as the more money we can gather with the game, the more we, money we can put towards our developers that are working for us and um, therefore finishing V2 sooner. So. What I'm currently working on is I'm going to have a small holiday next week, but the week after then I'm going to try and call with our development team, try and see if we can make some sort of list of everything that needs to be done and kind of do an estimate 
But the hard thing is that every time they make an estimate and then they look at something, sometimes they think it takes 20 hours and then it's only eight. And then the other time they think, oh, this is easy. This is only six hours and then it's 20. <laughs> so it is also very difficult um, for someone who codes to really give a good estimation of when something will be done. But we're going to try at least. And as a good producer slash project manager that I am right now, <laughs> I will like at least duplicate it um, because usually when you think, you know, the coding itself is not really even the issue. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm also reading the chat currently. <laughs> Someone says like, oh, taking time off because you're a human be being. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Well, sometimes people honestly blame me sometimes for not being there all the time, but I am human and put in a lot of work for this um, last few, yeah, few weeks, months. But um, yeah, what I wanted to say is that for the developers, we are working on something to make schedule. And then after that, I will at least duplicate it, but um, it's just very hard to pinpoint because the way that you will work um, in development is that, you know, I say, for example, the full pastures. For the full pastures, I say, okay, you know, recode this to V2. And then they start working and they say, hey, it's done. And then I go testing as well, uh, this is not working correctly. And then this is going wrong. And this is also going wrong. Um, this design is not, you know, done properly. So you have to redo this. Um, so then obviously it's taking more time. And then they will work on that and then come back to me again. And then usually you will find something else. <laughs> so I think you go th through at least two or maybe three test runs before it is really ready to go. And even then, because now I noticed that mm -hmm. someone said we were, we were missing the, the gender icons in, um, in the full pastures and also the, they were sorted in the wrong way. Um, and I just never noticed. So, yeah, so sometimes then the players still say like, oh, it's going wrong <laughs> or was yeah. this intended? And I'm like, no, it was not intended. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, you, you go through so much. So it's, it's really hard to pinpoint anything really, but we try. Also, when you, what, what plays into this? Yeah. I think what plays into this is that we're a small company, right? Like even the developers, almost everybody else uh, doesn't work full time. So that makes it much harder to schedule stuff, to know that everybody will be there and available and continually working yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Like even if you just have two people working on a project and one of them gets sick, then the project takes longer, which is not what other gaming companies have to deal with <laughs> yeah i think that's also a big compliment though because a lot of people think that we are actually like a triple a studio which um is not so for everyone watching <laughs> i am the only person like the owner of the game who is working full time so i literally put in at least 40 hours a week and um, then we have Aura, who has lately started about 16 to 20 hours-ish a week for community management. And I think the rest of the people are about one day a week-ish. Let's see, yeah, so Dominica and Hester, I think it's about one day a week. Then now I have an intern who's actually working five days a week, but... Um, mm -hmm. Then you need to, you know, it's also with a lot of guidance as well. Um, though, unfortunately, the last the last three weeks it wasn't that good because I was so busy preparing for this live stream and also um, the new code color update. But uh, yeah, I think most of the team is just working part time. So it is just trying to get everyone on the same page. So we communicate a lot by tools that are similar to Discord. Um, we have a project management system where we add everyone's tasks, but it is still, fi we're still figuring out sometimes on how to properly do this. <laughs> oh, 
like that's also we also the team is also uh all over the world in different yeah. time zones and countries and we just have so much software like my <laughs> first two months at horse reality where literally every week someone came and was oh do you have the account there yet oh you don't well that's a problem <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but that's good that we talked about it because that was also asked uh, from players how many people are in the team and how much work. Like somebody asked, how much work does horse reality create on a day or in a week? Which I I think we kind of answered it. Yeah, I think also um, for the team itself, I think we have about ten ish people. Um, but then from those 10, we have, let's see. So we have me, Hester, Dominica, Tassie, you. Since fairly recently, we have Margot as well. Um, so Stephanie. So we have seven that are working at least about one day a week. And then we still have like Julian, Chatcat, and Monica, who are more like freelance based um, as in whenever you need them. So if I need a new background, I will ask Chatcat to draw one. And uh, same goes for the NPC and for the sketches from Julian. But um, yeah, so I think in general, it is me full time. And then about six, seven people about one day a week ish. And yeah, for the amount of work that we create, it really depends also on our community, because if there is something going on in the forum, and it's getting intense, then that usually creates a lot more work for us because we try to keep it like a friendly game. So we have to step in sometimes and then read through all the comments. And I mean, that's why I hired Aura so that I, I'm not really looking at those anymore unless people ask my help for specifications usually, right? But then those kind of situations result into more work for the team really because then we have to dive into the details and dig up some information that was not known or that was shared incorrectly um, just to make sure that everything was you know fine i mean it's uh, it's also important work like it, the interaction with the community is the whole reason Oh. Have game with others. You're a little so bit like, like a robot. We're gladly doing. Oh. Okay. Like the last, no, the last he... sentence, the last sentence I missed. Uh, I already forgot what I said because I'm so tired. Sorry. Um, no, because I, yeah, be I, I just said, yeah, that that creates more work for us and uh, takes some time away from us if we have to actively intervene in forum threads but it's also at least for me a part of the job that i really love like i love talking to the players there and interacting and um uh <laughs> trying to find the best arguments and trying to stay open and also have my own opinions and yeah mm -hmm. it's a fun task <laughs> but yeah it also means <laughs> Like, yeah. It just means like for all community management re related stuff, it's often you, me, and Tazi, right? Like, mm -hmm. if if we need someone to read the the writing contests, then that's us. And if we are currently busy with another task, then we can't progress with one of the other tasks on the list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like a question, like let's ask more questions for the comments. Mm -hmm. um, okay, what horses will be in the new wildlife parks? I think we answered half of them already in our last news post. Because um, mm -hmm. we have yeah. the Mongolian horse for Asia. Then we have the Namibian desert horse, if I pronounce it correctly, in Africa. And for the South American Wildlife Park, we weren't fully 
um, prepared yet because it has been hard for us to find a really native breed over there. But I know that there are mentions of the Lavraderos. I, mm -hmm. And I thought it was just the, the Portuguese word for horse, but it seems to be really um, a native kind of breed. And then also a lot of people mentioned the Criollo horse, but I feel like that's not really, it's not really a feral horse though, right? It's like, it's very domesticated already, I guess, but I'm not really sure. I'm not, I'm not too familiar with the South American horses and it's all Portuguese and it's a language that neither of us speaks. Um, so I I yeah. Saw, yeah. Like I'm not sure, but I think I saw players arguing that uh, the Criollo would just be like, what is a feral horse at this point in the world and time? Like. Mm -hmm the Camargue horses or Mustangs, there's also a lot of domesticated ones. Yeah, true. Like I, I saw arguments like that, but I, I don't have any knowledge myself. I just took note. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Oh, also for anyone who is, because I see more questions popping in, um, for anyone who is currently joining us, we have not mentioned the surprise yet because we had a lot of te technical issues in the beginning. So we needed to... <laughs> Um, you know, lengthen our stream for a little bit and to make sure that everyone got a chance, um, everyone of the team got a chance to join in. So we're currently doing the Q&A with me and Aura and then um, Chatkat will come after this and then after that I will do the final surprise. So for me it's come to be a little bit longer. Um, and one of the other questions I keep seeing a lot of the times is about visible tech in the game. <laughs> um, if it will ever be there <laughs> and the answer to that is yes <laughs> that is something that uh, Chatcat will be working on but um, it is something that will take quite some time so that is more on our long list for the future yes <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile I'm already I was answering it and it already popped up in again as a question uh, yeah, because but of the time lag. Yeah, I yeah. keep I keep forgetting that the YouTube is lagging behind a yeah, little bit. Yeah, me too. It's, yeah. <laughs> but yes, um it will be, but it will take some time. <clears throat> so um, what's next? Okay. A little bit less concrete questions. Um a player asks us, what is our main goal? What is your main goal with the game? <laughs> That's a tricky one. <laughs> like goal as in what I want to achieve with Horse Reality or goal as in as a player, like the goal as a player would be to breed the best horses and such. But I am assuming that it is possibly what my goal mm -hmm. is with Horse Reality. Um, mm -hmm like your intention for creating it, maybe like that. Like, yeah. I what was your goal with making such a game? Yeah, I think um, I answered this a bit in the beginning, like <laughs> when I talked about the history, but basically when I was mm -hmm. talking about um, the history of horse reality is that I was playing horse games in the past and I felt like most of them were too childish. You usually have things like um, you know, rainbows, pegasi, and, you know, there is so much um, that was too childish for me. And also when you had those games, you had these Barbie games where you had to like, you know, your mouse was your brush and you were literally, you know, like, I am just cleaning my horse, I'm petting it. And I was like, this is so boring. I want to do it in real life, but not on a computer and definitely not like with my mouse and so stupid. So um, that is one of the reasons why I started making this game. And I just wanted one that was a little bit more towards adults. Um, and I mean, the further goal. Yeah, at first I just wanted to make a game like this in the sense that I just wanted the horse game for adults. Um, or at least for a bigger audience than just 14 year old kids. So I think that's kind of where it started. And seeing where we are right now, I feel like 
virtual reality definitely has the potential to become as big as games like Star Stable and Horse. And just, you know, that that horse reality will be one of those names that everyone has played at some times. Um, That is definitely something I am working towards too. And I hope that once we reach the V2 version, that we are finally able to, um, well, be able to grow that big. Because then the code is easier and we can add new features um, in a better way. So in the meantime, I also see a lot of questions popping up about the things I'm mentioning. The questions are coming in. It's yeah. Really cool. So um, to get back on the tech being displayed, that is something that we took, like we knew that many people would, would or wouldn't like. Um, so yes, there will be settings to display tech like you want. Um, and I'm not sure about the entire details yet, but I was thinking about having one way is in your user settings to have it always turned on or off to make it just easier for yourself. Uh, Some people just don't like it, but then also adding the option in the profile itself that if you want to show this tag right now, just for previews or something that then it um, will be shown. So yeah, that will be an option and it will be your personal setting. So it's not like if Aura turns on the saddles on her horses, that for me, they also show up. That's only if my settings are also turned on like that. Um, And then I see questions about inbreeding. When will there be consequences? Yeah, those are all quite difficult to answer because we have to wait till V2 is ready. And there are so many um yeah urgent things Mm -hmm. i guess i mean you know the the basic stuff like feeding your horse with the food from um the stores and um the the inbreeding consequences and the companies working there's just so much that it is veterinarians care fertility yeah there's so, so many possibilities Yeah, so it really depends on what we are talking about to our um, developers and then decide on which things, you know, if there is something, for example, if inbreeding would be very easy to implement, then that one will probably be first because then we can make a few quick steps. Um, But it really depends on each feature. And I feel like all the features are quite a bunch of work, really. So, yeah. Yeah. I think that one's a little bit tricky. Yeah. Yeah, I think like, because the question uh, someone asked was phrased like, will you put effort in the basic things after the transfer is complete? Mm -hmm. And yeah, of course, like that's what we're making the transfer for. uh, Yeah. So that we can like, so that it's finally possible to get these things into the game and then get even cooler things into the game. Um, but yeah, we just have limited development hours. So right now the developers are only working on V2 and once they're done, they will also only be able to always work at one project at a time. So the question is never if we can code something like we can basically code anything. The question is what should we do first? Because it's the one thing at a time thing. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, and it's also to make sure that it works correctly. Um, mm-hmm. Like sometimes, that's also the problem if you work at multiple things at once, is that some parts of code that some the person one created will clash with person two's code. So that can definitely be an issue. Or that you've forgotten that something was also in this area, because that also mm-hmm. happens sometimes. It's like, oh yeah, um, some of the bugs that we had lately with the retirement home that we changed and moved to V2 and people were like, hey, suddenly I can inseminate my mares in the veterinarian area. And they were like, oh yeah, of course, I should check in that area as well. So yeah, that is the difficult thing, I guess. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially like, or to my mind, it always sounds like, I'm not sure if that's true, but to me it sounds the more game feed game pages a feature includes 
the more complicated it will get. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So like if you're if you're talking about a feature that would include the bank and the horses and also the market, that's uh, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, I think there's also another question that was basic. Oh no, sorry, I misread that one. But like, two more questions about colors. Mm -hmm. um, will you ever do the grayscales for some horses who were drawn a long time ago? I mean, we also answered that in the last news post, I think. Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> to keep it short. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just read, okay. read the last news post about um, the birthday surprise. I think that contains a lot of information about that already. Mm -hmm. And a fun question that I, I'm i also wondering now, where does the name for Delta Points come from? Oh, that's a funny <laughs> one, actually. That's a funny one. So <laughs> my name is DeLorean. Um, also, some people think it's a nickname. It's actually my real name, um, which I kind of got fond of because it's a rare name. So the D, E, and L are taken from my name. And I started this game with Tamara, um, who starts with a T and an A. <laughs> so, and throwing them the other way around, like toddle points, doesn't really <laughs> ring a bell. <laughs> doesn't really sound that nice. And then I was like, I had Delta. No idea. Yeah, so I was like, oh, Delta. That's, that's like, it's a real word and it's easy to pronounce. And I think points came from the fact that I used to... Um, I found all my artists on DeviantArt and I think there they call it something like points. Because you always have like diamonds, points, credits, um, cash or bucks or whatever. Everyone has this name for, you know, the, the paid currencies. So, and I just thought like points, like delta points, that sounds nice. <laughs> So that is kind of why, where that came from. Um, and I think Tamara only knew where, when I said it. Um, but I felt like just toddle points just sounded weird. Because <laughs> then people will definitely question like, what's that? And with Delta, it's that's already cool. a word, right? Yeah. So I felt I like that's easier. That's <laughs> super cute. I would have never suspected that. I, I thought it was a decision like, oh, Delta, that sounds like a cool word. <laughs> let's call it that <laughs> no i honestly thought about it like making a delta points <laughs> just combining I'm our two names i gonna refer to the metal points from now on just because <laughs> tattle points yeah i see a lot of people in chat are also mentioning yeah. i would buy tattle points <laughs> so yeah mm. <laughs> Someone else asked if um, if we will ever add a search option to search for jeans code colors that have already been tested for. Um, yes, that is something that we want to definitely do. And we know this is something that is a real struggle and a real hassle currently. Uh, the only issue that we have is the way that our genetic system is currently working. It is not really easy to um, create a search out of it. So the developers would have to reconstruct our database or at least a genetics area for that. And that is something that we don't really want to touch until V2 is done. So for V2, we're only changing the code and not the database structure. Um, originally, you would like to do this because then you can improve the way things are being retrieved and such at the same time, which doesn't say anything to most of you guys. But um, usually if your database structure is, yeah, um, well, let's say in a perfect way, <laughs> then um, it would be very fast to collect things from the database and some, on some pages it's slow and it's usually because the structure of our database isn't perfect. But last time we made a change in the database was the retirement home. Um, so now you know where all those bugs came from. It was because we touched our database structure and, um, that is something we definitely want to <laughs> avoid. <laughs> 
until V2 is ready at least. So yeah, there's that. So that has to be done first before we can finally add a, a better color option. And then you will be able to search by the genetic names. Um, so like E, uh, D, ND1, CR, uh, Pearl, that kind of thing. And then again, only the things that are tested. So you would not be able to search for a flax on horse or Rubicano or something like that. Because otherwise you would give away too much. Yeah, I see other questions that are like about what things we plan to add. But I think that's always... Um, I find these hard to answer because we're having a lot of very concrete plans of what needs to be added. Like first, the V2 transfer needs to happen. The competition calculation mm -hmm. need to happen. Um, also the breed and club specific competitions need to happen. That's already a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, then there's the basic game features, like the functionalities that are missing that needs to be added. And then we can talk about stuff like adding championships or Olympics or adding um, maybe adding features where people can send currencies to each other. I don't know if that's planned, but like um, it's hard to say now. No, uh, it's hard to say today which things will come in the future. Because I, I think yeah. It's an ever-changing process. You, you're open to everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's ever-changing. <laughs> yeah, for me, it is always really important to take the players into account because you know our players are the base of the game. If if they would not be there, then I wouldn't be here sitting here today behind my computer having a two-year <laughs> birthday live stream. So, I mean, the players are kind of like the heart of your game because they they are the ones that play. They know what they want, at least. Um, <laughs> there are many things that they want. And I feel like a lot of those things make sense. And a lot of those things are great and would be, you know, a lot of fun to add. But at the same time, we have to look at the resources that we have. So the money we make... Um, how do you say this? The money we make, you know, you, we have a budget and then this budget needs to be used and spread amongst the artists and the developers. Um, and then you will need to see, okay, so with this amount of money, what can we do? And what needs to be done rather sooner than later, which is a lot. <laughs> so um, I really feel like once we have at least the V2 code ready, and ideally I would say we, when we also have the database structure ready, because if the database structure is updated, we can, you know, add those search functionalities and add all the other, um, yeah, at least better searching, better retrieving things. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain because I go into the tech mode <laughs> very easily. So I need to make sure that it stays. <laughs> understandable <laughs> but um yeah i'm honestly always open for anything as as long as we're not going towards the whole unicorn thing because we're called horse reality um so we only have horses and i mean maybe at some point you can add a unicorn horn as a halloween decoration or something <laughs> but not as like a regular you know yeah, I just don't want too much fantasy <laughs> stuff. There are other games we do that already. I I just want to add one point, which is you said that it's important to you and also to me to like to to take the wishes of the community in in the game mm -hmm. development, and that's the reason why we're getting or yeah why we're getting more careful with saying with what is planned long term because our community today once is the highest prior prior priority and everybody wants them super much those could change in one or two years when we're actually able to code them so if we say now oh yes that's exactly how we're going to do it this will come exactly how you suggested it then we kind of have to stick friends 
So like, um, I always feel tricky in situations where people ask me, will this feature come for 100%? And I'm like, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, when, yeah. I feel like, you know, the feature will come, but maybe not in the way that they expected it to be. Because I, we do consider the opinions of, you know, all our players and sometimes there are a hundred players who say oh this would be great and then this one player says well but if you do that then this and this this could happen or this and that and there could be just one comment of anyone who has had a little bit of a different idea which makes you think like that is true if we would do this then that could have happened or could happen and um so we really take into consideration all the opinions and just think about how we can implement something like what they mentioned um, in a way that it is at least fun for everyone. Um, yeah, I mean, you want it to be realistic, but we also want it to be fun. So it, it's a fine line sometimes. Um, and I think the question of someone else that ties into this because they say, why is this game so addictive compared to other games? And I think that kind of question is perfect for this because we listen to our players. So I think that is one. I feel like players feel that we listen to them, um, which doesn't really happen too often in most other horse games. And I also feel like we take into consideration the player styles of very different types of people. I feel like the most horse games usually cater to players who are, you know, the more active you are, the more money you will have, the better you will be, uh, that kind of thing. Whereas we are aware that a big part of our player base is also working or going to school or actually has a life and does not play the game the entire day. And still giving them the ability to keep up with training because of the way that our training system works. If you want to be active, then you use the 15 minutes and then you use the lower energy and then you click more often. So you get more user experience out of it. But if you don't have time, you will use the 75 or hundred um, percent energy bar and just, you know, immediately raise the amount of experience of the horse. Um, you will gain a little bit less user experience. So that way you still cater to players who want to play all day long and they can just use less energy of their horse, but you can also do for the players that can only be like one hour a day, they could just train um, in the other way really. So I feel like catering to those different styles is one of the reasons that many people like to play horse reality because you don't have to do anything and that if you don't care for your horses they won't get energy but they won't die and i think that is a big difference also with many other games is that if you don't feed them or you don't give them water then in a few days they're dead and you have to start over all again and this is one of the things that has annoyed me the most in any other type of game that if I was there just reading the chat or anything and not really feeding my horses or pets, or whatever the game was, then they would die. And I would have to find new stock again, which I was like, how will I do this? Because now my money is gone, my horses are gone. How do I start over? <laughs> so I think this is, uh, yeah, one of the things that took me a while to come up with a good plan so that every player style could, yeah, you know, be catered to. Yeah, someone just pointed out the community uh, also as a big part of playing the game. And I, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm really amazed at the kind of players this game attracts. Like in the idea thread, for example, or like people are thinking so deeply about game features and discuss with each other and help each other. Mm -hmm. but I don't know. There's a lot of really nice and really smart people there. And 
yeah, I don't know. It's honestly one of the most positive, constructive communities I've seen on the internet. <laughs> Tassie came online. Hi, Tassie. <laughs> Yay. Tassie. Tassie is actually lucky right now that we're still here. <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> like, um, just to give an update for Tassie, we had a lot of technical issues, <laughs> so everything is being forwarded, basically. <laughs> um, moved forward. So we're currently doing the Q&A, and I think we... I don't know, did we go over most questions already? Because I think we can't really do them all. It's already 6... 40 ish here um and Honestly, it would... I, I actually think we did because most of the questions i got they go more or less in the same directions and, and then then don't have big individual answers there's a lot of stuff we also don't know that exactly then there's also a lot of stuff um that we already share in our news post mm -hmm. and um yeah <laughs> yeah i was um, just quickly you can also reading. always keep asking us questions you know like uh i'm always checking the news post at, at least once a week i check the comments under there um if i get to it i do it every day but like at least once a week i check if there's people having questions about something will we upload to youtube yes um what i will do i think this stream is automatically saved um on youtube so i will just upload this one but i think for the first two hours almost <laughs> you can probably skip through most of it because technical issues um and i will do how do you say this i will change um like upload a new version with all those pieces cut out but I will go on a little holiday break first after this. So then that will probably come afterwards. But then at least this version will be online already. Um, and I see another question coming in. And that is something we don't talk politics here. So sorry. <laughs> something we won't answer. Um, but like I think the first two hours of our stream can pretty much be goners. Um, though there are a few funny things in between with with Jill and me <laughs> and I, um, but yes, so we will we will work on that later. Maybe I can even ask Stephanie, um, but her computer won't like it. Six hours of streaming worth added to a video, <laughs> so probably have to be up mm -hmm. all night to export <laughs> it. <laughs> but um, yeah. Oh yeah, we're bothering a lot of laptops with this today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let's see. So I'm going to check if um, Chatcat is ready and see yeah. if she can join in because then we can start on the, uh, or finish the background she was working on actually. And then maybe in the meantime, I, I could still answer some questions if necessary. So yeah. I think that would be fine. And maybe I can do my surprise reveal a little bit at the same time as well. <laughs> But um, we'll see how it goes. Oh, she's typing, so I think she's there. I'll go retreat back into the chat area. Yes, thank uh, you for being here. Yeah, it was super fun. I hope uh, my lack of sleep wasn't that noticeable. <laughs> um, yeah. A, li a little bit, but you know, we all need a little break after all. We did so much for for like the birthday surprise, like all of we us. Did so much, yeah. So uh, yeah. we we could use a little break right now. <laughs> so we will do this after after this stream has ended. This weekend will be so great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lots of sleep. <laughs> okay, not so much sleep. All my sleep. Okay. <laughs> Hey, enjoy and your evening then. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Let me just quickly switch back to my own big face in the screen. Um, since Chatcat is still restarting, it'll be fine when she's ready. 
But um, yeah, so we're already almost one hour over time. And we're still here. <laughs> um, basically, oh, hey, Chatcat is already here. Hello. I was just quickly explaining that it was like we're already almost one hour over time. Um, mainly due to all the difficulties. But I think it's fine. Let me see. I will switch you. Oh. I see that I don't have the video turned on yet. Let me see. Did you already do some work on this? Like further work on this background? I feel like you did something. <laughs> no, I just turned off the um, let me see. I still need to adjust your screen a little bit. Fit to screen. There we go. And then I'll open up my Facebook chat. I feel like it is hanging if I look at my screen, but can you hear me properly? Oh yeah, same for me. I, I hear you like that as well. Um, and I also hear you very loud. So let me put down the volume in my Discord at least, because I feel like no one else notices it. If I turn down the volume in Discord, then it seems like everyone else still hears you properly. So, but I feel like it's stuck. So let's see. Um, it's impossible to hear more than DeLorean again. We can hear her. We can. Uh, yeah, that's also what I'm wondering because they say they can't hear you, but I was like, you were also quiet. <laughs> so. And um, Itchy says, Chatcat is almost inaudible, but I don't know what the word inaudible means. A lot of people say they... Let me see if I do this. Mm. I can't hear Chatcat. Let me see. If I do this, I have to turn... I don't know what I have to do with my headset then though, because if you talk for me, it is like extremely loud. Can you just keep on talking for a little bit? Okay. Um, <laughs> <so> <laughs> Maybe just draw what you're doing. Yeah, everyone says like you are super quiet for them. Yeah, but that's also why I'm wondering. Cause I don't really hear a difference right now, but maybe the others do. But it's also difficult because the, the YouTube is like almost one minute behind. So it's just waiting a little bit. Okay. 
even hier dat I hear a voice to your headset. Ik denk dat we haar even. They think. Let me see. They feel like they can hear you through my headset, through my own speaker. No, I'm on my headset. But also I have, this is the, ent this is the weird thing the entire day already is that the only thing that changed is that you joined, someone else left and I did not change any sound settings really. Um, so this is always odd, but let me put, for example, the screen I was working on with Julian. And this is not Julian at work, but just to see if something changes in the sound. So if you talk right now, I'm wondering if it's it will be better. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Hmm. No, everyone still says that they hear no difference at all, which is so odd. If you could, that would be great. Okay, hold on. Can you write back? I'm gonna okay. Yes. We're just gonna see if um Chatcat is changing her uh, she's changing her microphone to see if that is a difference. But it still feels odd because I only changed, you know, the person in this course swapped basically. So it's a little bit odd for me that you can only hear her through what seems like my headset. Um, yeah, I see that someone says like, maybe you should put her audio on your PC. But then the weird thing is that then you get the issue of my microphone picking up that sound as well. Um, which makes talking really difficult because then you hear a very loud echo all the time. But we will just see if it works if she comes back and otherwise maybe um, I will just turn down her sound a little bit on my Discord and I will um, talk you through what she's doing. And I can also explain a little bit about the surprise already maybe because it's nearly 7 p.m. And while we wait for her to get back, um, maybe some of you have already seen, let me see, let me switch to my own big screen for first. Big screen, where are you? Webcam, yay. Poof. So this is my screen. Um, some of you probably have seen it already. So I'm wearing this track in her shirt. I'm, I'm quickly muting you. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm quickly muting you because then I'll do the surprise first for a little bit. I will talk about this for, okay. let me just find my right Discord settings. Um, I also wonder that if people hear you right now that maybe it sounds better. But um, for now, I'm quickly going to mute you if I can do that here. Yes. Okay. So Chatcat is drawing in the background. Um, but I will do my reveal thingy first. Let's see. 
So, a lot of you have already seen it probably, right? I mentioned this great blanket. I think it's too dark. Let's do it like this. So we have this nice um, thoroughbred blanket, which is one of our items that we are going to sell soon. And this one is pretty big. So this contains the background from Chatka. This is the, the Kentucky pasture and I think a black thoroughbred and a bay foal with some white markings. Um, I'm wearing a track and a t-shirt, <laughs> just trying to show <laughs> over here. Let's see this way, obviously, and um, with like a big circle and then the horse in the middle. But we have more. So this is um, the Camargay crop sweatshirt, I think. And I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera. I don't think so. But it is like this kind of fleece material. It is very soft. It is very similar to the fleece blanket that I was, um, that I had around me. So I think you can already guess what's going on then because we have already spread a few rumors or well, not rumors, a few sneak peeks. That's what we did. And maybe fun for Chatcat. I'm sorry I muted you, but look at this bag. I love it. This is um, the winter background of 2019, I think. So it is black on the inside. This is an all over print tote bag. So it is like both sides have the print. It's like all over. And currently I have these with only the background, not really anything else, but I'm super happy with them. And there's one other thing that you will start wondering the moment we open up our shop is that um, this is the season for hoodies. So here is one. But the issue we had is that the print didn't really come out that pretty. Um, and I'm not sure if you're going to see this. Let me see, because then I can't see the camera anymore. But like printing on like this kind of thick material and also printing on black seems to be pretty difficult um, to do properly. So for now, we will not have any hoodies in our merchandise shop because um, I have to figure out which hoodie is correct and on which one it looks pretty at least. So um, yeah, unfortunately that was an issue. So let me put back my blankie. <laughs> so I see many questions popping in already. Um, let me just throw you the link. Basically what we have done is that we've created a merchandise shop, which is our last surprise. <laughs> is um, That's kind of why we sneaky threw it around everywhere already. Um, let me see. There's the link. It is shop.delorean.com, which is basically, it's connected to my personal website um, or the website of our game studio. There you will now find um, some tote bags, some clothing items. Um, and we don't have that many options yet. Um, we first wanted to see, you know, if the things that we had made was even interesting at all. I can imagine that, you know, not everyone 
yeah, likes that kind of thing. It also depends a little bit on the breed. So we don't really have, um, how do you say? Request exceeds limit. Oh gosh, it's already, is it already that bad? I was already noticing that my, that the shop was, <laughs> oh Lord. Well, that's fun. You will always see things like this happen. I think I purchased a, a host that was too cheap. I should have put it on the horse reality server. Um, I'm so sorry. I will fix that later. <laughs> oh Lord. Has it exceeded your resource limits? Well, I'm wondering if I'm going to get a message out of it. I already wondered because it was fairly slow, but probably everyone connected to it. But even then it says like 102 people are watching and um, hey, the doorbell's ringing, food is here. <laughs> so, well, it is hilarious, but yeah, they crashed the server. <laughs> we will need to work on that first, but um, we have, I believe, Mustang, um, Arabian, Akaltechi, but those two only have posters. <laughs> we have, well, there's quite a bunch of stuff, really. We have t-shirts, we have long sleeve shirts we have the, the blanket is only the thoroughbred for now but the moment i received this i was like oh this is crazy i want this um with pretty much any breed so that sounds really cool and the bags are currently only with the backgrounds but i will that we will definitely upload horses as well but we just wanted to start you know with something nice and then see where that goes and the things that you are all requesting because, <laughs> you know, if anything is um, like what you really want to have, like if anyone can let me know, then we can definitely add it. <laughs> I see Martin here. He was, he was with every release. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. Yeah, crash the alpha, the beta also. Or reality check, shop check, everything crashed at least the first time. <laughs> so <laughs> our new record. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an accomplishment. <laughs> but anyway, um, there are quite a few things in there and we are looking into the first next thing that we will add will be the sweaters, the, the ones that I showed earlier, uh, the hoodies, like the big ones. Um, because it's, you know, soon will be winter over here. So those will be nice to have. And then, well, probably more things like posters and mugs, but I just didn't really have any time anymore to, um, add those to the shop as well. And I feel like, you know, let's start with this first and see where that goes. The way it works is that we use a third party, third company party with um who will print everything for us so really you will you will place an order then they will make it for you and it gets delivered to you so the thing is please look out for things like um import costs because it really depends on where you live and the amount you order at because we found out that stephanie who is living in denmark she um she does all our content usually she worked, whoops, she has um, received her t-shirt quite a while ago, or no, we ordered it a while ago and she only got it yesterday um, because the import was holding it back. And then apparently in Denmark, you only have a threshold of 11 euros. So if the product was more expensive than 11 euros, you have to pay import costs. So her t-shirt was twice as expensive as um, the price it originally was due to that. So please be very careful if you order something that you check your own um, government's website, I think. Um, and let's see, what else should I mention of the shop? Yeah, so also because it is made on demand, uh, it's printed on demand. So the moment you buy it, it's printed for you. That means that you will get it 
yeah, it takes a bit longer than usual. And it also means that it is really hard to return things because we don't have, you know, an extra uh, size laying around. So please make sure to order the correct size and color. We added size charts for everything, I think. So, um, yeah, I think that is most of what needs to be mentioned, I guess. Um, I think what Aura is mentioning is a good one, is that some of our older artwork that I currently have not put on a t-shirt or anything is usually too small. So, for example, the Ecotechi and the Arabians, the image size is only about 700 pixels, which is not large enough for like a print this big um, without becoming pixelated. So, unfortunately, we can't really do something like like similar to this one, but we could, for example, make a pattern or, um, you know, like multiple colors and just put more of them maybe, depending on how small they would show up. But um, we can definitely look into that kind of stuff later. So we start with this first and we can always build up onto that because we have many artworks, um, so it'll be fine. So yeah, again, the website is shop.delorean.com. And this currently contains our merchandise, which was our final surprise, um, including the little Delta sale we had going on earlier. And um, so for the final yeah, video or round, um, I'm not sure how to say this. We still have Chutcat here. Um, so I will unmute her and then she will work on our Halloween background with us. Um, which will be released by the end of the month. Let's see where she is, because I muted her, so she can't really talk right now. That's unmute. Mute gone. Hey, Chatcat, are you back? Or <laughs> I hope everyone can hear you correctly now. Um, so let's wait for them to catch up and see if they can hear you. Then I will turn on your screen. And I hope the sound is working all right right now. But if, yeah, if not, I'll just talk for you. <laughs> I will just repeat what you say or do. Um, but I'm, I'm still waiting because the YouTube is still lagging behind. I think it's almost caught up right now. So I hope maybe one of my moderators can confirm if they can hear you properly or not. Mm. Unfortunately. <laughs> no, it seems that it it's not working currently, unfortunately. Um, then I will move your sound down a little bit because you are still very loud for me. And I will just try... I'm not entirely sure if I'm able to do this without messing up the rest of my settings. Um, let me see. This is input, output. Because if I do this, can you keep talking for me? <laughs> Let me see, this is a little bit less loud for me and let's see if I can put you, because I think it won't really matter, oh, this is, let's see, 
I can even hear you draw right now. Yeah, I can hear it. Oh, that's maybe that couldn't that be the issue though? That it, couldn't that be the issue that you're too far away from the microphone right now? Yeah, and last time we did it. Yeah, last time we didn't really have any issues either. So it should have been working fine. But I show you audio capture. Yeah, I can't really input, output. I can't really change anything, I think. Hmm. Let's see. I think this might be one of the reasons why my voice was loud for someone. Hmm. No, yeah. I'll just leave it like this. I'm. I. Not too sure. Next time I will do more testing again. <laughs> I'm sorry for everyone else. I will just try and repeat maybe um, what you say. If necessary. Might be a little bit weird talking like that to each other, but <laughs> I think that that might be the best way to go for now. Yeah, exactly. I'll translate for you. Um, so let's see. So you have started on this background for like a few weeks ago already um, for Halloween. And what will be the final image that you're going to draw? Because no one knows yet. Mm hmm yeah so in case no one else heard um, she's drawing a momiji scene and momiji is like the the word for uh, it's a maple leaf so it's kind of like a maple leaf forest um, at night and it's also a lake in the background right or in the, in the middle area <laughs> mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. But it's pretty cool already. How did you get into the whole art industry? <laughs> How was it called? Like, so the first website you were... Working for her was Pet. Did I say it right? Pet Nebula? And what kind of game is it? Or was it? And when 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 did you work for them? Like like how long was it ago? Over 15 years ago, that's quite a long time already. Oh, when you were in college, yeah. So you you started as most people, I guess, just drawing for fun maybe, and then becoming better at it? Or did you always know that you wanted to become an artist? Mm 
So let, let me translate. <laughs> so you were just in college and then it just never occurred to you that it could be a job. So, but what did you study then um, in the first place before you thought this could be a thing? You studied architecture? Really? Really? Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, I also studied. <laughs> or for me, it was not my bachelor. It's it's like one lower degree. I'm not sure how you call this in English. Um, because my bachelor was communication and multimedia design. But I also did uh, architecture in... Yeah, in Dutch, it's called MBO. But I'm really not sure if it is lower vocational studies, maybe. In English, it's like one lower than... Um, a bachelor, which is usually for technical, uh, like technical drawing. Yeah, I don't know, just a little bit more boring stuff. And then you would have to do a bachelor to become an architect, really. But this definitely explains to me, like, how you come up sometimes with those building designs. Um, someone says associate's degree. I wonder if that is what I... Th if that's what I mean. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but for me, it's really interesting to hear that you, yeah, also did architecture. Because sometimes, especially with a city map, you draw those buildings and it just, I don't know, it's very um, interesting always to see your designs and also the designs you make for other games. It's like you really know a lot about the buildings as well. So hearing that you do have studied architecture at least um, sounds really interesting to me. Like definitely explains a lot. <laughs> no, you've never told me this. Or or yeah, but I also like my brain is like is it a sieve? I don't know, in English, like the, when you drain your pasta or something, like my brain is so annoying sometimes. I'm very forgetful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a long time ago. I'm just wondering if people on YouTube can still like follow along with this conversation since it's sometimes, um, you know, hard to maybe repeat it again or translate it. But um, I don't know. I just thought it was funny that you are uh, or did architecture as well. But for my next question, how long do you usually take to make a background like this? Let me let me try to do the first sentences first because I'm 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 getting too far behind otherwise. <laughs> so I'm just going to do, try and repeat what you said. So you say that planning takes you around four hours, and then I guess with planning you mean 
um, knowing what kind of colors you want to use or what kind of trees and and yeah your the surroundings you're gonna use in there is that what you mean with planning Okay, so for planning, it's usually about four hours. And then for everyone else, I usually, um, we, we have this project management system. So whenever Chatcat is going to draw something for us, I will provide her uh, with some reference pictures, which sometimes we can already take from the forum because a lot of you do a lot of requests for backgrounds. Um, so then I put some in from the forum or and then find some additional ones and then Chatcat will use those as a base. But then in order to draw some specific things, she might need to research a little bit for um, a particular tree or some foliage and um, continue from there. But then that is only the planning part, right? And then you still need, so that's before you have even started sketching or anything because that comes after that. And that is about two hours ish, you said? Yeah, so it takes you a little bit of time to arrange everything in the proper areas because you have quite a bit of things, I think, to take into account, right? We have some pieces that are cut off. We have some pieces that for the center area where the horse will be placed. And then we have so many different horses and areas that is sometimes tricky. Oh yeah, and the information areas as well, yeah, where sometimes information is put on top. Or well, especially for the horse name area. Yeah, exactly. So any important information needs to be between the cutoff areas, really. And um, Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the difference is in the past that I only gave you like the area where the horse should be placed at and then didn't really give the areas where information will be. Because I think we mostly we mostly took that into account after players started commenting for like, oh, there are some Akotekis in this background, but I can't see them because the box is on top of them. And then we had to change those. I think it was the Lavender Fields. And I believe it was only after that that I gave you the updated version with like, okay, so this is where the menu is and this is where the horse's you know, name and chip number will be <laughs> so that they... Um, so that you know that everything behind there is probably hard to see. But luckily for us, we have now this merchandise store and then I have added the full backgrounds without, um, or at least, you know, you don't have the, the displayed horse areas. So I also removed the shadows on, I think all of them, um, because, you know, on the tote bags, I'm not sure if you saw it in uh, what I posted earlier, but like I have this winter background tote bag and then there is not a horse place in the middle. So it was weird for the shadow to be there. So I turned off the shadow layer, but um, then all the rest is still there. So since you don't have any boxes on top of it, you can now also like enjoy the background to the fullest really, because nothing is in its way. <laughs> yeah i think i came across those <laughs> but um uh, there are yeah i think there are, there's like two or three maybe but uh, i mean it happens 
it's it's not that big of a deal if the shadow area is um, still there. I just thought it would be nicer for the bags to not show the shadow area because there's no horse, so the shadow doesn't really make sense. Um, but then, so then you have four hours of planning and then two hours of sketching, and then you still have to do this part. It's like the coloring. So how long does that take? Because I can imagine that that also takes a lot amount of time. Or a big amount of time. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if it's planned correctly, it is about three to, did you say three, two, three hours? And then if you don't plan it correctly, it can take up to a whole day. But then if you didn't plan it correctly, so that, that, does that refer back to, for example, the, the trees and all that? So that you didn't find the correct tree or anything or forgot maybe to find a reference for it? I'm sorry, I didn't really got the last two sentences. Oh, that is what you mean. Yeah, okay. But then, um, let me see, because I feel like it's very confusing probably <laughs> for the rest to talk about this kind of stuff, but... Um, Maybe if I'm lucky, OBS has saved at least your sound, but I'll have to see. Um, so then sometimes if you make a mistake, it is just easier to redo it totally than trying to correct it. It kind of feels similar to some parts that we have coded as well. Sometimes you're coding something and then it actually... Like it just won't work for some reason while you are absolutely certain it should. And then you delete it, start over, type the exact same stuff, and then suddenly it works. So then you're just assuming like, oh, there must have been a typo somewhere. Uh, <laughs> just super annoying sometimes. But then, yeah, then redoing it is usually easier. It's so weird that it works like that sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's just really hard. But uh, so, and you were drawing on, how do you say it even? Is it a Huion? Like the Chinese tablet, right? It's like H-U-I-O-N. Canvas Pro 13 inch. I think that's also one of those that I ordered last time during um, Black Friday. <laughs> well, it's fine. <laughs> I actually, since I was so busy with working on Horse Reality, all the stuff, and I was barely touching it, so... I have sent it to Dominica since she is, you know, drawing our horses and all that. I thought she might have a better use of it. So um, she's kind of lending it for now at least. And maybe she, she even said that she might want to purchase because it's so, uh, 
like it takes a little bit to get used to but once you're used to it, it it's very nice um, but i think she only finally got to try it out because during the last two months we were working so hard on our color update that everyone was like <laughs> how do you say um like she was so busy with all the other colors that she felt like i don't have time to learn this thing right now i need to work on um, these colors first and make sure that it looks all right so then she decided it, it's just easier to stick with the old tools and then try this out later but yeah so i wonder how she will enjoy it when she will be working with it for a little bit longer because i already know that julian is drawing from a tablet she's from the in the cintiq and then you draw on one. I know Monica is also drawing from such a surface tablet. So I wonder um, how she will enjoy it too. But I'm sure she will like it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so like for this tablet it's just easier to get it connected in the first place and then with the Cintiq it can give you more driver errors or something Yeah, obviously, since you haven't really used the new ones, then you wouldn't know <laughs> if they have the same issues. But for the older ones, then at least. Um, let's see. It's so sad that you can't draw on your old tablet anymore if it won't use a driver or it won't install the driver. Um, that's such a waste. Also, I, I do feel like I've done forever with like my Wacom Bamboo. It has been, I think I had it for six years and then I gave it to Tamara because she was working on the colors. And then she has also used it for quite a few years after that without any issues at all. But times change. Mm hmm let's see yeah I noticed that most people are starting to leave it's also been a long day already <laughs> um, I see some people who say that they're leaving. Thank you all for your hard work, dedication and devotion to your fans. It's very sweet. <laughs> we do our best. It is, it's difficult sometimes to make, to know, to, um, gosh, I wanted to say it so nicely. And then suddenly <laughs> I couldn't come up with the words yet, but I think that's because it's been a while. Um, but I'm just very glad that everyone enjoys it and I definitely hope to do this kind of thing more often because I feel like it's a nice way to communicate with more people. Um, also to answer questions because it's in person and then you can just explain things in a better way than just through text because I've had it a lot of times that I tried to explain something in text and then my Dutch bluntness came up front a little bit too fast, I think. <laughs> and... Um, I don't know, that's just tricky sometimes that as a Dutch person, sometimes I just answer a question, um, not really with, that, with any kind of intentions, but then some others take it 
they they find it's offensive for example <laughs> so we do our best with that but then this kind of thing definitely helps doing just a live q a session um let's see so i also see someone that asks if we can submit horse pictures for horse inspiration in a contest we haven't actually done something like that before but it might be an idea i mean at least for uh, inspiration for colors at least we have several topics and sometimes people will add a new ideas topic with a breed they're a fan of and they're like hey this kind of color is still missing um, usually backed up with the appropriate research though because there are a lot of times that people say why is this not in the breed while well, this color does not exist in that specific breed for example um, so yeah it can be a little bit tricky sometimes but um, we might have to see how we could do something like this but at the moment there is not really a way to submit horse pictures for inspiration you can submit the breed you want to have added though in a topic in the forum there's a specific topic for that so maybe um, you can find it in there um, yeah i'm also thinking chat cat since it is now 7 30 over here and i also haven't eaten yet <laughs> so i'm starting to get very hungry that i'm thinking of maybe closing the live stream and then um we can maybe do a recording next time so that hopefully the sound is normal <laughs> and that we can just make sure that the entire process is um filmed maybe i'm not sure if you would be up for that because i feel like that would be nice to see the entire process of starting the sketch and then seeing how it evolves eventually um, I feel like I want to add that, yeah, more like that kind of stuff to our YouTube channel so that everyone can see and enjoy um, any of our artists' work, really, because I feel like many of you, you all have different skill sets, so I feel like it's very cool to see the entire process. Though it's maybe a little bit long, but then we could probably speed it up, right? So that will be fine. Um, mm -mm -mm. let's see let me just switch back to my screen then and i would like to thank you again chatcat for being here i'm so sorry for the sound that we didn't really get to get it working this time um it's also since we've already been at it for such a long time we would actually stop at 6 p.m my time it's now already 7 35 <laughs> so it's a little bit longer than expected but that is something that happens to me very often <laughs> so it's fine um, again thank you for being here and we hope to see more from you in some new videos for our stream again thank you <laughs> bye bye So let's see. So I will transition back. And I would like to say thank you to every one of you that has joined us today. I hope you enjoyed what we have been showing you and uh, that you had a nice time, uh, that you enjoyed our surprise for those who are just joining in. Um, we added our merchandise store today, which you can find at shop.delorean.com. Earlier, it went offline for a little bit because everyone was going there at the same time. But um, there are not too many items just yet. So we are working on that. We will be adding more items. And if there are things that you really want to see, just um, drop it in the comments when we post this to our YouTube channel later. And then we will be sure to um, add more options. In some cases, it won't really be possible because the artwork will be too small, but we'll be sure to make, yeah, to add some extra um, other items in their place. Um, I think there was someone a little bit earlier who says, who we have live streams in the future. Well, I haven't really talked to the artists yet, but I feel like it's something very nice to do. 
um, just to engage a little bit more often. And this was the first time and internet was failing us and then sound was failing us. So I hope that we can do it more often, that we can also get used to how this works and make sure that all the sounds are working correctly for everyone. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Let me just quickly fetch my cool tote bag. Just a quick last peek at the bag because I have it right here. And I think like Chatcat would also love to see it again <laughs> because this is her background. And I just love this one because winter is coming close. Winter is coming. So <laughs> how cliche. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I really love this one. And it's also very high quality. It's very thick as well. So it feels like it, it won't really break that fast. And I will be sure to add more blankets because this is definitely the softest fleece blanket I've ever had. So I'll definitely do that. Then I would like to thank everyone for watching. I can maybe answer one quick question or two because I totally forgot about my last screen. The thank you for watching screen. Um, and I was super glad that all of you were here and that you got to join us because I don't know, it's just so much fun to talk with everyone kind of in person. You know, I talk to my screen which is different than talking to you in person, but it's close. So <laughs> we're getting there. And oh, something that I would also love to know is that since this was my first time, I know there are a few words that I say often. So I definitely want to try to think about that for the next few times. Um, but if there are other things you'd like to comment on or think like, oh, you could do this better next time, that would be highly appreciated. Um, I would love to hear about that kind of thing so that I can prove it the next time. Yeah, just definitely appreciate it. <laughs> I just also need to keep in mind that the webcam is over there and not outside because I tend to look outside sometimes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so yeah, definitely if you are still here with us, we still have 60 people over here, which I really enjoy. And I just hope that we can do it more often and that you'll just be here um, yeah, to enjoy this kind of thing really. And that we can, you know, answer your questions in person. And um, yeah, we'll have to see how often and when the next time will be. I think at least not for a month <laughs> because we definitely need a little break um, of all this kind of stuff for a little bit. <laughs> it was very exciting and also a little bit tiring because we had so much to prepare. We were working on the merchandise shop and we were working on all the new color options, which unfortunately I wasn't able to show because my computer was failing and I was kind of afraid that if I would open anything up like that, that it would freeze again. But we will be sure to um, show you a nice sneak peek. I think Stephanie had prepared one for this Sunday. So keep an eye out for that on our social media if you want to see and um yeah just thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time oh now i can do this thing like subscribe to our channel somewhere <laughs> see you all later bye bye <laughs>